Agi, 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 good morning, happy Sunday after Eurovision. How are we dealing <laughs> with the aftermath of Eurovision? Hello! It's Tekka coming live at you from the not so sunny <laughs> California located in Germany. <laughs> located entire centralized entirely within the country of Germany. Which, by the way, of course, won Eurovision last night. If you don't, obviously, they always do. If you, <laughs> if you believe me, don't look it up. <laughs> we always do. We always do. It's normal for us. We win these. Real. Just don't look it up, okay? <laughs> Hello, what's up? Oh yeah, different hair again. This is a nice hair combination. Oh look, the, the emotes are making me lag. This is a nice hair combination. I like this. This is so extra. This hair combination is so extra. <laughs> you know, I can mix and match a little bit. So this is my favorite. Anyway, <laughs> is it my favorite? I have a lot of favorites. I like them all. That's why I made them. It's a shocker. Okay, anyway. Hello, purple. Hi, what's up? Hi, Wolfie. Hi, Shang. Good evening. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Victor. The time has finally come. It's Disco Elysium time. I'm very excited. I hope I like it. I really hope I like it. I really, really hope I like it. Oh, your head is fucky wucky, but it's getting better. Did you get any sleep, Wolfie, or nah? Everyone says Germany didn't deserve what they got. Yeah, and that they should have gotten higher, though. That's true, actually. People are saying this this year, and this year I would be inclined to agree with them. But, I mean, nobody's happy with the results this year, so... Yeah, no, it is what it is. The Eurovision stream yesterday was 3 a.m. for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it started at 3 a.m. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's bad, no. Skill issue on your part. True. To be fair, this is true. This is true. You could just move the time. <laughs> yeah, they got about two and a half. Is like... <laughs> not that great. Oh, but oh, you got two... They got two jury points, and then they got some audience points. But what you mean is that you got two and a half hours of sleep. It's better than nothing, though. It's better than nothing. Last night was Eurovision. Yeah, I thought my freaking day was, is Saturday. I forgot, even though I did go to church. <laughs> it's Sunday night on my end now. See, I have a, I have a watch now. Do you see? There, right next to me, there's a, a watch, a clock, rather. Watch is for your wrist and clock is for your wall. This is neither really on a wall nor on a wrist, so whatever it is, it tells the time and the date. So now you always know what time is it when I stream. Right now it's 3 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> I think that's cool. It's such a silly, it's such a like small little detail, but I think it adds to the vibe. I've added it to all of the screens as well. So no matter which screen we're on, we're gonna have the clock. Aside from the karaoke screen, because I haven't touched the karaoke screen in a while. <laughs> but you know, anyway. So we're gonna be playing Disco Elysium today. I'm very excited. I hope I love it because I love the art style already and all of my friends are very, well, not all of them, but like the ones who care about video games are pretty into it or at least liked it at some point. So, you know. Heavy tuber schedules destroy my body clock. I'm about to. You know, I'm in the beginning phases still of my uh, Vosh obsession, personally. Personally, that's where I'm at. And I don't know. I don't know if he always streams at 3 a.m. my time. I think he said that that's like an evening stream. Fingers crossed. And that those are not the norm. Fingers crossed. But personally, if it is like that, it'd be like that. I will accommodate. I will accommodate, maybe not. I will accommodate. And if not, I'll watch the bots. It's fine too. So what is this colorism about anyway? We'll figure it out. We'll see it. We'll watch the intro. We'll learn together. Uh, Victor went to your best friend's house, new house, to celebrate yesterday. Uh, house, oh, house celebration yesterday. It was kind of weird. I saw a barely able to walk baby almost get into a fist fight with a barely able to walk old lady. <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> There wasn't even any alcohol available there. Also, new pog. We have a new pog and we have... Uh, will it find it? Yes. Real. I hope you have a lot of fun with the game. I hope so too. I don't know if I can watch uh, your Let's Play or if I get too frustrated with everything. Because <laughs> we're such different people. We'll see, but it's not fun. I mean, okay, I can also see you getting frustrated with that, but it might be fun. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I kind of sometimes I like getting frustrated. That's why I watch debates Because <laughs> I like being frustrated, but at a certain point it gets too frustrating So I get a high calyx as well have good vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah real is here I feel like real is a good addition to the thing. Oh, but I still have the old emotes in the kappa gen I should update the kappa gen sometime remind me of that or not. I mean, maybe I'll remind myself of that I'm gonna stay up late because I'm sure that watch streams tonight So I'm gonna watch that no matter when that is. I don't know when that is yet. It's either at like 9 or 3 a.m. <laughs> one time he streamed at 9 and one time he streamed at 3 a.m. This is all the data that I have, so it's between that time. It should have said, for real? <laughs> Wait, I have that. 
I, I, I have for real. I can, I can pull up a, a quick for real for you. Do you mean... For real? For real? He's an alcoholic. So like... He is. I know. The main character is. Yes, the main character is drunk. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. But you can choose to not drink anymore. Severe alcoholic as well. Yeah, the, the main character is a little bit of a troubled person. <laughs> okay. No, but we, we should get into it. The music is epic. <laughs> The music was swelling all the time, and then, then it fucking stopped. It like concluded at its climax, whatever. Uh, when I started streaming, very annoying. Don't like that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm still hyper. Why am I so hyper? I don't know. I think I had a good week. Like the the the, the tail end of the week was really good for me. Personally, I'm very happy right now. <laughs> so let's go. Today are to totally apolitical VTubers. Streams a totally apolitical game. Yeah, like most VTubers, I'm so, yeah, so apolitical, just like the rest of them. Do we? Oh shit, I didn't set this up, did I? No, I did not. Do we want to stream it here? Go away. We're not. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I made the be right back screen be like a shortcut on a different thing, but apparently that is also a shortcut for a different thing. Every button on your- this is my biggest complaint in my fucking life. Every single button on your computer is a shortcut. Stop it. I don't want every button on my computer to be a shortcut. I need some free ones. I already have a little macro keyboard. But they're already all full. I need more keyboards. I don't have space more- Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have space for more keyboards, bro. Uh, do we want to play it in this screen or the other one? <laughs> what is happening? It's because... No, it's too it's too complicated to explain. I will not explain. Is this good? Or will this interfere with the UI? I mean, I guess we'll see. No BS. Don't show the bank tab. I have opened Imagine. Imagine if I did that. No. No. It's so rude. Fucking every single button on your keyboard is a shortcut for something else. Where the fuck am I supposed to key B right back to? I mean, I guess I had it on... But it, that's that. I have this on that. Can I put it on 10? F10? Does F10 do anything? I'm sure F10... F10 is like the self-destruct button. I swear. <laughs> Computers have too many fucking hotkeys. So I'm in the settings right now. I think this is good, probably. I don't know. This is the basic settings that it came with. Hello. Is it too loud or is it good? I think it's loud enough probably yeah skill issues are a common thing in this game because you gotta roll it's like dnd dnd is like the game of skill issues also this is by the way this is germophobic and i hate this look they're like oh keyboard mapping qwerty i'm like no actually it's quartz like we have a z there where the y is oh i see how it is you have fucking dvorak that's a composer that's not a keyboard <laughs> but you don't have quartz assholes fucking ass <laughs> I'm, i woke up today and i chose violence i cannot tell you why i cannot tell you why disco elysium let's go when you said f10 is a self-destruct button your stream lagged <laughs> i didn't even press f10 i swear anyway <laughs> even the fails in this game are usually great though let's actually go let's actually go some of my best memories playing this game is from me failing really hard i'm super excited i'm gonna stop complaining now oh streamer mode what does that do? Oh, yeah. Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, there's a Twitch integration? I mean, I'm not on Twitch. Oh, I would rather... <laughs> don't say crass things. No, I would rather not, is what I'm saying. Did you drink your Red Bull? I don't drink Red Bull, but I did drink a monster. But then again, I said I was kind of abstaining from monsters, but then I kind of didn't. So, like, it's not different. I'm just angry. I'm not angry. But I'm aggressive today. I don't know why. But yeah, streamer mode? Yes, please. New game. Ooh, choices! We've got choices! I'm probably- or you can create your own character. You can- no, I think as a first-time player I should choose one of the things. We can either be- I'm sure I'm gonna be in front of some important game UI. I can already feel it in my bones, but we'll see. I think- oh yeah, isn't the text over here? Oh, we might have to adjust that, probably. Like, calm down. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. I do like this energy, though. We so we could be the thinker. He has even the pose of the thinker, you know? Just like the monster I drank, yes. We could be sensitive or we could be physical. Um, not that. But I don't need to be me. I like the thinker immediately, you know? Big brain. Riz. Oh, do you think that's... Oh, yeah, that is Riz, probably. I don't even know all of these. I'm probably not gonna read all of that. 
you sure know what I always took with that choice? I mean, I would assume, I would assume I would know, yes. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people, <laughs> knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. I like that personally, I w that's what I'm drawn to. But I mean, I don't have to play myself in here. I mean, it might even be better not to. But then again, this is my first playthrough. This is my blind playthrough. I should go with something that appeals to me. Very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Okay, wait, actually though? That's not what I associated with sensitive immediately, but like actually though? That kind of that kind of slabs. Hello, Howell as well. And hello, William, hello. Aggressive take a best take real. Uh, physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, <laughs> gets things done, but dumb as a rock. It, okay, I'm like torn. I'm torn. I'm torn between those two. Is it? No, it's not a roguelite, no. It is an RPG. D&D, like tabletop, no, not D&D, mm, kind of D&D, right? But, like, so intelligence five, psi, what the fuck is psyche? Psyche, your power of influence, oh, to influence yourself and others. Oh no, I vibe, I vibe, I vibe. Fizz, fizz, oh, that's physique. Why did you abbreviate it with an F? I don't know. How well your body is built. Oh, his physical is better. And mod. M oh, okay. Motor motorics? M motor skills. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. But he has like one intelligence. I mean, I know we can level this up. But I don't know. I'm torn between these two. God, I already have to make choices and I already don't know. Yeah, D&D. &D, tabletop. Tabletop. Extremely tabletop. Yeah. It's a very straight up RPG. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. I make decision. I make decision. We're gonna do this. Sure. Why not? Psychological sounds good to me. Psychological sounds good. Like, I'm not- I don't vibe with the term sensitive personally, but like the description really. The description I vibe with, so we're gonna go with that. And the art! The art is so pretty! I heard somebody say the game is ugly and I almost- kill. And you can level up if you make good choices. Yes, you can level up. I- I do not- let's- let's go with that. We can always, you know, it's my first playthrough. I know people die sometimes. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their dress, even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. True, you can drown in a puddle if you're drunk enough. Let's begin. I feel like I'm gonna have to move it, but we'll see. There is nothing. Yes, yeah, behind Only my head. warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. Okay. You don't have to do anything anymore. Okay. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening. Should I move it? I think we should play it in the other game screen so you can see more, by the way. Ancient reptilian brain, is that your favorite character? <laughs> okay, wait, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put it here instead because then you can see more, hopefully, is the idea. It's not a quick aside this time, no, it's not. We need the game capture, you know? Then it's like here, then I can like move out of the way and you can see more, I think that's better. Cause like all of the dialogue is over there. You're gonna wanna see that text, oh, excuse me. Ex accuse me, princess. This, that, that, and then table, text, and then disco. <laughs> disco, disco, partisani. Do, 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 Elysium. There you go. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Who doesn't love the ancient reptilian brain, though? Good question. Ever. Ever. You don't have to do anything anymore, ever. Do you mean I'm dead? Never. Ever. Simply keep on non-existence. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. Oh my god, that fucking voice. <laughs> he goes, I cannot, I cannot. I'm, yeah, it's spooky, isn't it? Is it too loud, by the way? It's a bit loud, but like, it looks fine on my levels, but I can change it for you. <laughs> Ancient reptilian brain and I are like best buddies. Also, hi, Elizabeth. Well, I guess I have to simply keep on non-existent. An inordinate amount of time passes. Mm. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. Give me some more. <laughs> what about the ex-something? What was that about an ex-wife? No, give me more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. I hate nothing. I need something. I don't like nothing at all. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? I mean, I guess we're just in favor of the nothingness here. There's not really like an alternate option. Hi, Dictionary. Coming right up, sir. This is a Smooth little bit mature, by the way. Passy. Okay. Well, we got nothing. We got nothing and nothing and nothing. I love him. I love this reptilian brain. I will. Alonzi, let's go. I want to get off. I like pain. Yes. And burning light. And wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Yes. Do you really? I, I adore it. I adore it. You like air, at least. I like things that aren't nothing. Uh, 
I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you oh, the what limbic was system. back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so I didn't. much on yourself. Previous me. Got a bit carried away, did we, chef? That no, I would never. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I do not associate. Yeah, your choices matter. I know, I know. Fear and apprehension. You should ask us out there first. Or easy success. Okay, this is an easy success. A lot. They, these ones, these ones right here matter the most. Let's go. I'm being so me. I'm being so me. I've briefed you on this. Not really. <laughs> you just said every choice matters. And I'm like, I know. I'm just gonna choose what I want to choose. I don't care. If I die, I die. No, F it up, it's funnier. Fear and apprehension. You should... Oh, what's success? Okay. Easy 8 versus your total 12. Whatever that means. You should ask what's there first. Did I do this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me. Or I don't care. I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like I did this to myself. Yes. You're one disco mother. I am a dis disco mother? I'm a disco mom. Ancient reptilians. Yes, William. Ancient reptilians, baby. Well then, tell me what's waiting for me. There's this giant ball there. An evil ape. Oh. And humans? An evil ape are juking it out on the ball. Yeah, humans on planet Earth. You're one of them. Me? It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. Mm hmm. Are the are the apes small though? I need to know the size of the apes. Infinitely small. Mm, I don't like that. You can't even make out it's How a big ball is the ball? You're joking it out. It's that large. Whoa, that's a big ball. I love this game so much. I like this. I like this as well. And this duking it out, I keep hearing about. What's that? War? Trying for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. This. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. I mean, we could, like, talk to the evil apes. I'm a little bit more of a fan of talking to the evil apes. That's a bit, that's a tad bit sad, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. Yeah. Alcohol. <laughs> what do you mean drowned? You lost. I died? No, I mean, you can kind of die, right? You can die and come back. I would like to open my eyes. Okay, we're gonna see the world. Oh, it's loud. Scary! Oh yeah, he's hella naked. He is hella naked. Jump scare. Yes, like I said, this game is mature audiences, mainly. There we are. Oh my god, we look so strange. <laughs> uh, do I look at it if I click on it? I mean, I'd assume so. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. I don't even play point and clicks. I do have briefs, though. I sure hope this isn't the type of content over on OnlyFans. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh, didn't like the song, huh? What's my favorite food? Of oh, curry. Curry is good. Wait, what? This real to real tape player is still on, rolling empty. Hold tab to highlight. Highlight what? Oh, highlight things I can interact with, I guess. And take? Oh, some of them are look at and some of them are interact with. I can put on pants, I think. I love the portrait. It's disgusting and pretty. I like that too. Oh, wait, what? Take all. Wait, how do you do that? Just by clicking on it, maybe? Okay. Flare cut trousers. Uh, yes. They're in my... I, I put on pants! We put on pants, baby! We're doing so well. Oh, I get bonuses from the item. I get electro... Chemistry. Cool. But I lose... Savior fare. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, have I put them on? I mean, I'm assuming so, yeah. Looks like it. Pants. These are pants. I'm wearing pants. Good. Pants! Whoop whoop! Wait, this is still you doing hear something? A jingle. Ah! Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Ooh, okay. Sure, I'll get some keys. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. 
The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Oh, the door is locked. Okay. Good to know. What did I... What did What did you think of peeing your pants? My pants? <laughs> Whose pants? Who's peeing whose pants? It's important to know. Uh, yeah. Take it, please. Disco-ass blazer! Look, we're, we're getting the look back together. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. How far can I zoom in? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, vibes. What's that? Oh, the window's broken. Why is the window broken? Did you do this? Did I do this? The window this? stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual <laughs> calculus. Easy nine. Ass assess the damage. Can I- If I fail this... If I fail this, do I, like, die? Also, why is this window outside of the screen? Like, it's outside of my screen. Oh, there it is. That's better. We'll try. The shards Ooh. face Ooh, outward. Absolute Whatever success. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Oh, yep. I threw something out of it. Okay. That makes sense. Let's go. Okay, baby girl, gotta go. I forgot I have uni work to do today. You do? Oh, rip to you. Maybe come back later. Yes, that sounds good. Have a good time. Holy hell, I got a critical success immediately. Okay, I guess I broke this, but it looks like I broke it with a ball, at least in the little infographic. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Not recent. I see how it is. What did this More then? likely a projectile than a yeah. held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Hmm. Um. Sure. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Looks like a ball, yeah. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your Oh, fist. heavy though. Hmm. Good question. I do not know the movie Odd Bods. I don't think like I do. the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner. Oh. Which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. I lo I threw my fucking shoe out the window. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Great. <laughs> now you only have one. Mm. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should oh. be outside your room. Okay, on the balcony. I should get a that shoe. cold wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. I, I got XP from looking at the window. Let's actually go. I will put on one of my shoes at least. A baseball? No. A shoe. Do we have like aspirin or something? We're so encumbered by, you know. Did I wear it? Oh yeah, I did put it on. Um, I should look at the bathtub, I guess, because it, like, shows up. That's not tab. What is this? Oh, it's a mirror? A mirror hangs above <laughs> okay. a bent and broken sink. Hello, Raphael? In a first Hello? discharge of masculine What's up? energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Ooh. Very big masculine energy. Hot water sprays from the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Mm, I am the Suddenly, outline of a man. you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you. Oh, there, that's weird. Underneath the soft vapor. Yeah, true. I don't have much memory of this face at all. Really? Nothing? That's a bit weird. I mean, I would like to look at myself. Why not? As you slowly reach your hand towards the Am surface I gonna of the mirror. Am I going to die? I'm like, every event could kill me for some Abort. reason. You clearly have not thought this through. Oh. You won't like what you see there. And yes, you and? never unbecome it. This person, this person that I am is prone to insanity. I don't care. I still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. I don't think, like, why would I not want to see my face? I want to see my face. Behold, it's a guy. We unlocked our, our, our portrait. The art is so pretty. I love this art, you know. Turn on the lights first. True, I would see more. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, <laughs> what is it? Of course I do. It's um some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's oh. clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Oh. Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Because I'm a superstar. I think it might be because I'm a superstar. <laughs> Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, I'm good, I think. I think I'm good. <laughs> Paul, like, I agree. Hi, всем привет. Hi, Thel. Did you sleep well? From yesterday, Lama. <laughs> okay, try to stop. Or no, this is what superstars do. Can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. I'm just. You've worn that grin into your face. Smiling. And now it won't come off. Yeah, he's vibing. Okay, let him vibe. What does it even mean? <laughs> what is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. 
Oh, it's for it could be for the ladies, or it could be uh, a very long answer. It could be an expression of pain. But I personally do, in my heart of hearts, believe that it is about you superstardom. Check for a pulse, superstar. Superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. I'll check for pulse. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. Hmm. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. Hmm. You appear to be alive. Woo! Now. I'm alive. Ooh, okay, this one is impossible, and this one is very low chances, so I guess I won't do either of those. Ooh, the expression. No, I'm fine. Bye, mirror. How are things at the park? Good, probably? I don't know. I peruse. <laughs> we still haven't gotten his other shoe yet. Yep, there are a lot of things happening. There are a lot of things happening, that's true. 30% ain't 0%, though, that's true, but I think we can go back to this later, I would assume, no? What is this? Oh, it's my shirt! Poggies! Satin shirt. Good shirt. What's here? You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. Yum, yum, yum. No vodka? Sad. Oh, there's my tie! My tie is up on the thing. I know he wears a tie. It's in the character portrait. Actually, wait. <gasps> the character portrait is inaccurate. We don't have the tie yet. Ha! Got you, video game. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. The other in a light bulb. Mm. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Yeah, I think that's me. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventure. Why do you phrase it like in that? This strange world. Why do you phrase it like that? Why must you phrase it like that? You must be damn lucky to be in the 3% though, it's true. We could pull on the fan. That doesn't have like a... This one has a low percentage. I'm not doing that. <laughs> the blades come squeaking to a halt. Yeah, wouldn't it be it easier be now? It easier to reach the tie then. I was gonna say. Yeah, let's do that. Plus three if the fan's turned off. Makes sense. You swoop up and catch the tie. Nice. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. <laughs> the fuck is this necktie? What you have about? in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie. Woo! With four or tie. five patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. A bit. That's a bit. That's a bit. We could mm, turn the light a on. Terrible mistake. No. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Sure. I like it's the light just on. It's a little hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. <laughs> Pull it again to turn the lights off. Or bring it on. Medium success. What do you mean medium success? <laughs> Pain threshold. Oh. My total is 10. Medium is 10. I don't think I want to vibe with that right the now. lights are off. Like, why would I do that? Bye. <laughs> Just turn it off then. Hi, Alexei. Failure in this game means even more fun sometimes. So don't be afraid to take risks. Okay. I will see. I will see. I will take some risks here and there, I hope. Okay, we've done this. We've done that. But, like... Oh, what? what is that? Did I do that? Oh, that's a door, isn't it? But, like, wait, 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 wait. Isn't the door to the balcony over there? But then, what is this door? Sail City. Not available. Sail City, actually. Ooh. And this doesn't hurt my brain? How do I get to my fucking balcony, bro? Here? There's something on the table. Yalinka, oh, that's a that's a snowstorm. I could talk to her. I want to get to the balcony. I need to get my fucking shoe, bro. Is that money? Can I take that? Oh, fuck yeah. Money gained, baby! Talking Ben, huh? Oh, oh, we're feeling much better. We're running and everything. What's going on? The calendar says it's March. The year is, ooh, 51. Okay, wait, then, I, well, if I can run now, I can go to the door and not spend a million years oh they said balcony no okay i cannot open this door but i have a key uh i don't anymore i thought i had a key but maybe that was for the other door fuck do i know right this is real so we're in spain i don't think we're in i i don't know where we are though hi lady hello officer the young woman raises a cigarette to her lips Mm, officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. There's only one solution to this. Who are You're you? A businessman. Authority, oh. 
Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. <laughs> then why did you call me officer? Well, I don't think I'm a businessman, so you know. The necktie killed me. <laughs> did it? Like, literally? <laughs> did it literally? Now that it's passed already, yeah, you could have died by trying to take the thing without stopping the fan. Yeah, I know, right? But that's more of an uh, exception than a rule. The game isn't a meat grinder. It's not? Okay. Because I feel like I've seen somebody play this before. I was like, hi, creepy. I've seen somebody play this before, and they died, like, immediately. And I'm like, that could be annoying if we, you die all of the time. <laughs> I don't know, though. Okay, uh, why don't you because call me an officer Because you're a police then? officer, sir. I saw. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think... <laughs> Goddamn right, I'm a policeman, and don't you forget it! <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> I won't. I cannot be serious. She means it. Oh, empathy. She wouldn't defy authority, however sweaty and bloated it may look. Mhm. Mm no need to be alarmed. I was just getting into character, you know. Or good. Now, how did you know I was a police officer? First one okay. seems better. No need to be alarmed. Just make sure to save often. Can you save? They haven't taught me this yet. <laughs> she breathes in the silvery smoke. Whoa! Something wants to come out of you. A bit of vomit. Thankfully, you keep it down. Okay. Because your body does not control you. Okay. I guess I could have vomited on her, but I didn't. Uh, how did you know I was a police officer? Sir, you've been here for three days. On official police business, as you put it. Well, that, that'll, that'll tell you. And what business is that? In Ooh. truth, so far, mostly drinking. Hmm. Mostly drinking. Try the expression on her. Let her let her know you want her physically. I will be playing him as n not that. Certainly not. Thank you. Uh, why don't I remember being a cop? Or who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Uh, I don't think she knows the answer to either of, of these course. questions. So I'll just peace out for be now. Be careful, officer. Class. They class, don't yeah. like the police class, around yeah. here. Miss Oran, yeah. Yeah. Who does? She looks back Good for you. them. A light glinting off her eyes. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you. See you later. I'm not even wearing a uniform, but I guess I went around and t told everybody about it. Can I get some cigarettes? <laughs> Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Can I smoke it? No. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. I forgot my memories by drinking a lot of alcohol. Yep. <laughs> what a police officer. Hell yeah. But he's a detective, so that's a bit better. What's this? Monday. Journal. Find your shoe. Good. Uh, can I for a second? I would like to... Okay, I can't. Wait, I can, maybe? I need to close something on my taskbar. You can't see that now. No, no, we're good. Okay. Because otherwise I can't see everything. What is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a lot going on. We're in Psyche. This guy is like leading me. Uh, uh, cool. I guess. That's a lot of guys. That is a lot of guys. I think I'll leave. I'll leave for now. <laughs> that's, yeah, I know that's my stats, but they're like all little characters and stuff. That's interesting. Um, I like that, but it's also too much input right now. So we're gonna keep walking. But was a police officer and chose, to, well, he didn't smoke though. He did not smoke. Oh, is this the door to the balcony? We have a loading screen. Cute. I love the art in this game so much. It's so pretty. Oh, that's bright. Well, if the light didn't give me, like, a fucking headache, then this should certainly give me a headache, shouldn't it? Ouchie, ouchie. Take my shoe! I've got my shoes on! Look at me! I'm so drippy! Can I- Oh, I can rotate me. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> Even the police thing is super interesting, though. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. Listen to that music though. The music is this vibey. Can I do anything here? Not from here, probably. No, I should go back inside. Okay, that was a short loading screen. That's nice. So that means you're lightheaded. Ha! Get it? Get it? <laughs> He's he was pretty photosensitive, but then he overcame this issue. I mean, he also overcame his like stupor in general. What's that? What you is should this? pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from. The I was train. thinking that. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. I was thinking that too. Oh my God, we had the same thought. Am I a smoker? I mean, I don't care. No, I, I was literally thinking the same thought as electrochemistry. Who is electrochemistry and why is that me? That's literally me. Uh, yes, we should do that. How do I do that? Am I a smoker? Who I don't care. Who knows <laughs> what you are? Mm. A monster, a murderer, the gnome of Jeroma. You feel like a smoker. I do. Especially <laughs> at heart. Juicy, succulent 
Said you. That to cigarettes. Juicy is a Still gross word. Delicious. For a cigarette, though. But you know, he also overcame his memories. He sure did. Uh, but the but she broke. Uh, she broke the filter. I can't How smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, mm -hmm. or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Th this Make guy's sure me. Tag healthy, yourself. I'm electrochemistry. <laughs> then smoke them all. I should do that. The idea right. seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, what? the garish tie feels very snug. The tie speaks or to me. You could not do that. Oh. No one is making you. Okay. I should do that. I should enthusiastically do that. I should not do that. I'll make it priority number one. Well, I'll think it about it. <laughs> I will. I will enthusiastically be doing that. Happy, yeah, happy awesome Mother's Day. Yes, yes, Mother's Day is today. I already said that to my mom earlier too. I don't know, did my mom leave with Tench or not? I actually do not know that. I do not know the answer to that question. Uh, I will enthusiastically good. smoke that They'll good, good cigarette. Stronger and happy better. Mother's Day to all the mothers in chat, which I'm sure are many. But find cigarettes, smoke them, blam. blam. Instantly a cool red. No, he's right. Man. He's so a right. Mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. Oh, I absolutely love that. Uh, why do I think this is a chit chat stream <laughs> instead of paying attention Plus, to the game? It's always a balance between the two, isn't it? Massive bonuses. Oh, does it? I want to smoke. I like to smoke and I like to bake. Da -dun -da -dun 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 -dun. I can't go in there. I can't. Can I pick the lock? No. Okay. What's this? This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trompe le Monde. Okay. Can I... F n n actually, I don't want that. The door is closed. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't need to follow lady. I don't care about following the lady. Thank you. <gasps> I need to find my buddy, though. Is Kim down here? <gasps> there he is! That's Kim. See, I know a little bit about this game, right? So, Volition is very much stopping you from having fun, right? Fuck that dude. So rude. The vibes are good. Do, 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 do. What's this? Can I sing? This is where the lyrics would be. Oh, that's the thing, yeah. Can I sing? A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. Oh my god. I wanna do that. Kim! Yeah, no, not Kardashian. Not at all. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. That's nice. Yeah, I'll speak to Kim last, maybe. Kim, A our man beloved. In his late twenties stands mm -hmm. behind the counter, inspecting yes. a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Okay. That was disdain in his eyes. Oh. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Oh, he hates me. I should be mean to him. Uh, something tells me you don't like me very much. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. You're being sarcastic. I noticed that. I am able to pick up on sarcasm. Uh, Am I? Yeah, I noticed did that. You ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, the what? and not trash my hostel room. The body? <laughs> the what? Oh boy! Oh my god! I did all those things. <laughs> I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. I do not appreciate your tone. This is no way. Oh no! I don't want to do that though. I do want to pick a fight, but not like in the cop way. I want to pick a fight in a cool way. Um. I'm guessing I You're didn't right. do any of those you things. You didn't, and it's only taken you three days not to. I mean, sometimes doing nothing takes a lot of time. What have I been doing all that time? Have you seen me no, around? I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. You're British too. Okay, he looks down again and keeps plucking at the bird. Uh, what's up a with the bird? Work of taxidermy. The white and brown you have sea a question. bird lies do, among do piles ask of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. I wonder if I broke it. I'm sure I broke it, actually. Beat the shit out of him. I want violence. Looks Maybe like I should have gone with the physical roof. The shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Yeah, that was probably me. Do you have a crush? No. Something <laughs> Don't do that. You feel bitter. Uh, about it. At least not like real ones. <laughs> Only funny ones, only fictional people. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Yeah, because I ripped it down, huh? Uh, this will make him be like, you did it, and then... Nah, I don't the want to say anything about that, I think. The seabird, frowning. 
I mean, oh, it looks like he's obviously a bartender, so I'm not gonna ask that. What is this? You should totally sing karaoke here. Yeah. First chance you get. Yes. Your emotions need to be expressed. real. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. I agree. My soul is immense. <laughs> My soul is modest. My soul is puny. <laughs> My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. My soul is immense. Utter. And it needs to be. You're heard. so right. Inland Empire. So me for real, for real. Absolutely me for real, for real. I'm vibing. Through a PA system. Yes. By other people. Yes, by everyone. Whether they like it or not. Whether they like it or not. Ears, says your adrenaline gland. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm really vibing with the character I've created. We're like, we're like 20 minutes in and I'm vibing with this man so hard. Um, this goes well. Uh, this goes well with a theory I'm developing that I'm down on my luck superstar person! Who is mistakenly yes. identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? <gasps> yes! yes! Sounds likely. Can this be reality? You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. I finished the... Th uh, yes, yes. I'm gonna finish the thought. And I'm gonna pose on the... Pose on the stage. This feels right. You belong here. I'm a superstar. How do I pose? <gasps> yes. Yes. Strike a pose. Cover girl. Cover girl. Strike a pose. Let's go. Yeah, I should remain here. We should <laughs> karaoke stream, but in Disco Elysium, actually, actually. We could do, like, the background of the stage as a background for karaoke. Okay. Anyway. Uh, that was cool. What else do we have in the vicinity? We have knives. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, fire extinct nose nose fed what well I've I've stolen nose of head don't know what that is uh, probably n n n like stuff this is a water cooler a large bubble is rising to the surface probably like nose spray stuff probably probably I hope I have the karaoke side quest I don't have them yet should I have asked the other thing too nah we'll get there I'm sure we'll get there I can't interact with that anymore right now though okay well be right back see you see you uh, there's a woman in a wheel- Oh, we auto-saved. Okay, good, good, good. There's a woman in a wheelchair, there's a weird door, there's a machine, and then there's my partner. I'm gonna talk to a woman in a wheelchair first. Hello, I think. I'll get there. Okay, good. Hello. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. I know. I know. She not supposed to man in the orange bomber jacket. I know, but I wanted to get to him last, because, you know. I'm sure it's gonna be great. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is I'm tapping just... his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Oh my god, Kim. You. Kim Kitsuragi, are you waiting for me? As you approach, yes, you he are. narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. He looks so fun. I love him. She's a nice old lady. Okay, good. If an assault were launched on this building right now, Ooh. if the windows came crashing Esprit down and the whole world descended upon you, mm -hmm. this man would hurl himself to <gasps> death's way to save you. Oh my god, yes. You are sure of this, but why? Oh my god. Kim, I love him. <laughs> I feel sorry for Kim. Yeah, I mean, fair. Hold on, who is he to me? Shake his hand? Don't shake his hand. Uh, uh, I mean, this is all I need to know. I'll shake Hello. his hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I know. Lieutenant, Precinct 57. His you must be from the 41st. Wait, do we not know each you other? realize he's waiting for your name. Or maybe we don't know each other. Even though we already have this, like, rapport this is your chance to come up with a really good name yes. for yourself. Get yes, 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 yes. Conceptualize. I want to. Ah, the chance is low, but I'm gonna try. I sure. T I don't feel like this would kill me if I fail. I, w I want to invent a name for me. Come on. Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. I think it's good. This may be a medium failure, but Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau is a great name. It's very cool. <laughs> No, this, it's very cool, but a bit... Nope. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Custo. Yes. Well. Oh, he doesn't even proceed. He doesn't even process what you just said, just moves on. But my name is Raphael Ambrosius Custo. That's such a good name. It looks <laughs> like we had a little skidding error mm. on Sunday. Oh. Saturday too, actually. Oh. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? No. Is that the manager? I thought he was a bartender, not towards the cafeteria manager. Yeah, just talk to him. I have talked to him a little bit. Uh, if you don't mind, we should talk to him again. To again. Ask him for to a rundown together, the together. area. Okay. Now that I'm here as well. Mm. I understand the scene is out back, right? Shh. It also wouldn't hurt to assure Maybe? him the police are finally here. 
in full force, I mean. Mm. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, I have, yes. What interviews? I haven't. Um, yes, the police. I am aware I'm a policeman. Right. Policeman, and police, police me. Yes, I am police. Yes. He taps his foot. <laughs> More out of habit than impatience. What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare I an initial no list of persons of interest. Mm. And then just skim the surface. Prepare the field. Get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Well, I mean, if I first ask what interviews and then say I have, yes, that would obviously be a lie, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, okay. I haven't. We'll have time for that after okay. we take a look at the coroner's case. Coroner's case. Okay, okay, okay. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? The tree? <laughs> it's in a tree? Look, man, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't like dead bodies personally, actually. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? No. So, the body... Is still in the tree. This is the first Correct. time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's oh, voice. Oh, he's a little weary. Mm -hmm. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Okay, see, these are the type, these are the, <laughs> take us so honest, wow. I'm going honest? I mean, why would I lie to Kim? There's no use lying to Kim, you know? Kim's my homie. Kim would die for me, I've learned. If Kim would die for me, I can be honest to him. I'm only honest to people who would die for me, though, so generally that narrows it down quite drastically uh <laughs> also this is what it likes this is what it's like to have empathy and be able to tell what people think Where that's it crazy has been hanging for seven days straight oh seven days we mm. should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner shouldn't somebody who knows how to do that do that instead like a mortician no or something <laughs> love the reaction to everything murder <laughs> the body in the tree <laughs> it's so goof it is i love it i love this game so much it's goofy and good goofy and good both uh, 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 we should go there soon. Yes, yes. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? I'm actually a superstar, yeah. We all feel that way sometimes. Do we? There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. Oh. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Real? Someone True? has to figure out who put it there. Mm. If we don't, no one else will. And we should also figure out who killed it, <laughs> additionally. But first, Might be two different to people, you don't down. know. He concludes, okay. Uh... Oh, let's go then. To you, officer. <gasps> He's been added to my party. Let's go. What type of moves if can you're you use? If you about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Do I have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Oh, it wasn't on me when. <laughs> Pretend you found it. <laughs> I have a badge. I am a policeman and I have my badge. <laughs> oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. Mm. You would need to report it on my shortwave. Mm. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Hmm. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Thank you. That's very nice. No, I need to find my fucking badge. Report your badge missing. Oh, I have to. Do I have to? Can I just not do that? I guess I'm not going to find my badge then, huh? Isn't the mortician called in last after a police officer like cleared out and recorded everything? Yeah, not mortician, but like somebody. Like this guy is just a detective. I don't think a detective handles the body like physically. They just look at it, I thought. But I don't know. You lied to him. Wow, you suck. How could you? <laughs> now I made a funny little joke. It's not my problem if he doesn't get that it's a joke. Can I talk to her now that I have talked to my Hello, sweetie. dude? The, old the elderly woman turns to you with a smile. Wait, who's sweetie? Who's sweetie reaction speed? My reaction speed is pretty bad? I guess so. Uh, who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. <laughs> hmm, maybe I and am. Have you found anyone to be sweet to? That's, that, she smiles conspiratorially. Why, why conspiratorially? Hmm? You don't have to do most things. Okay, I'm not gonna report my badge missing. Fuck that. I bet they will find me like 50 bucks or something. I don't wanna pay that. No, I'm done with mating rituals this time around. I don't know. Wink. Maybe I have. <laughs> I had once. Wink, wink. But then I lost her. What the fuck? I don't really want to talk about that. No, I'm done with the mating rituals. mating rituals mm. aren't the good part, sweetie. None of it is, actually. I know it's none of my business, but not my you business. look like you need someone to take care of you. I mean, that, that we could arrange. Yeah, I you're right. I suppose all of us do it one time or another. I don't know what I'd do without Morel. Who's Morel? You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. 
I completely forgot to introduce myself. She slaps herself on the forehead. I already lost her. <laughs> I'm Lena. My Ooh. husband Morel and I are staying with our, our friend husband. Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks up, smiling. This Lena is wacky enough for <laughs> the Motley Crew. Hire her on the spot. Hire her on the spot? Well, sounds like a good idea. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, How would you like to roll with me? Whatever do you mean? I want you to become a part of our team. You, th th That's very important. Every, like, group of three in, like, movies and stuff has two boys and a girl. <laughs> So you need to be that. Roll us some cigarettes. No, I want you. I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Sequence killers. Oh my. She sounds pretty impressed. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. I can have two. Polyamory is a thing. Okay, come on. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Shh. Later. 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 I want Lena to join. <laughs> Kim, of course. No, well, but I know, I know, but there's also side mysteries, sequence killers, and forays into the paranormal. I can assure you with absolute certainty <laughs> there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Oh, we're like in France, in Martinez. Shush for a bit, Kim. Come on, we want to we wanna vibe. Now, with Lena. No need to squabble. Mm. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. No. Why? Three heads are... I'm not giving up. Three heads are better than two. Thank you. I'm good at persuasion, by the way, too, so... Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible Fuck. place, you see. I'd slow you down. That is why we actually, before we can even get the body down from the tree, we're going to go down to the mayor's office or whatever the fuck, the local legislators, and we're going to slap a fat petition on their fucking desk and be like, you got to make this town wheelchair accessible or else pull out my gun. I point the gun at the guy. I'm assuming it's a guy. I don't know who it is. I'm, a, I'm pointing my gun at everyone. I'm like, do it. Yesterday. Do it yesterday. I need that for my investigation. Perhaps Thank you. Perhaps another time. Maybe. Uh, she turns back to you with a hopeful glint in her eyes. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am. I've got to leave now. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. I'll be back. I'll talk to you again when I've made the whole town wheelchair accessible for you. What's this? <laughs> A sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for union members. Doors open at 4 p.m. Okay. Can I play this? This Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. That means no. What is this door? I'll be right back. Oh, what did I notice? Door is bolted. A sign reads, Kitchen reserved for personnel until uh, 1 p.m. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Well, good, I guess. I like that you, like, notice things. That's fun. Okay. Brother, what's up? Union, the union! Man with the unimpressive beard notices you True. approaching. He does. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? Gart. Garte. <laughs> uh, you run this place. Yes. He glances on his notebook. Yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an interdistrict investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I can introduce myself. Oh my god, these are all such good options. How am I to choose? How am I to choose? Am I the harbinger of ruin? Or, as I said, I'm Detective Rafael Ambrosius Custo. Or I could say I'm currently in between names, which is so real. How the fuck am I supposed to make a decision out of these? These are all good. I am the harbinger what? of ruin. Nothing, I just wanted to see what happens if I say that. <laughs> I am it, the gloaming. I am it. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I have been to the precipice. I have seen the end. This dust cloud will be gone soon. It makes no difference if you understand it or not. Both of these are great. What is this, a joke to you? Yes. Is this what you get when you call the police now? Yes. This guy? We've been waiting for a week here. <laughs> cry about it mate <laughs> the real uh, the real hard questions are often the ones that have multiple great answers yes sir i understand your concern but we are here to do a job and for us to do it i need you to stay calm yeah i know this one's like a communism game <laughs> a communism game let's go i've heard oh uh, you you're gonna make the townsfolk super annoyed at you hell yeah yes, i am of course but i'm persuasive they're gonna love me anyway it's fine <laughs> for a moment the man fidgets under the lieutenant's Authority. gaze. Then he gives in. Mm. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, 
But it also took you a while to call us. Yeah. It was you who placed the call, correct? That's a mistake on your part. No, buddy. I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm mm. only temporarily taking over her duties. Shit, was Sylvie the woman we talked to? No, do you right? Have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Mm. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. Yeah, you're British. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, no, someone else. Yeah, if I've thought so. I'm like, no, but that was not her name. But you know your way around, you even yes? know that. In case we need directions. Yes, I Do know you? where some things are. Mm -hmm. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. D I don't care. I just want you to... I like, didn't imply that. Yeah, no, we did Detective. not. Detective. <laughs> yes, what? Who? Me? <laughs> what? It's your turn. He asks... Uh, he takes a respectful little step back. Oh, you mean questioning? No, I'm good. No, I want a question. Yes, yes. He I means, want do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Mm. <laughs> the cafeteria manager is clearly agitated again, because he has to talk to me. Uh... Where exactly is the body? It's in the tree in the backyard. So much we already know. Who killed him? I mean, that's what we are trying to figure out. So kind of useless asking that. Why did Sylvie go away? Are you the bartender? <laughs> uh, you know, I actually can't think of a single thing. No, why did Sylvie she go away? She went away because none of your business. She pertains to the coming of the apocalypse. Does she? Maybe she does. Maybe she pertains to the apocalypse. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, she does. <laughs> Sylvie actually. is not here because I asked for her number. The dead body out back didn't help either, but it was mostly me. I hope you appreciate that. You dumbass. Thank you. You loser. Mystery solved. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer. Oh, it was conduct. a lynching? Well, that's no good. <laughs> oh, that makes things a lot more serious suddenly. Sometimes you can learn a lot from people when asking obvious questions, though. Yeah, I guess that's true. I suppose that is true. Um, employee contact. Uh, this stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. <laughs> Bitches and hoes don't exist because the hoes now both are feminists. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't. Bro, this game is so funny. I like to be thorough. That's true. Everything has something to do with everything. Also true. Yeah, no. This stuff gets on my nerves because I am a feminist. <laughs> what? Uh, I can't breathe. That's right. <laughs> if the, if I know one thing about myself is that I'm a total raging feminist. Do you have a phallus in your ears? I said I'm a feminist. That's good. But there is a timetable for this investigation. I have a thought. It by the stages of decomposition. And it says we need to move on. I, I just had a thought based on that fucking You've roast. You've gained a thought. Yeah. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought I cabinet will. and internalize it for special oh. bonuses and effects. I've gained the thought, Harry. What the fuck, Harry? <laughs> thought gained. Let's go. <laughs> My first thought ever was about feminism. Well, and or dicks. Either or. So that's pretty great. I like that. So, uh, who killed I him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Now uh, that, pro he, pro th 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 thou dost protest a little too much, No. <laughs> No, that's actually a normal reaction. Suddenly he turns up. For people who Blood don't kill him. is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. The prey drive says. The prey drive. <laughs> I kind of... This sounds so stupid. There's no reason to do this. There's no reason... A thought. <laughs> you Karen. <laughs> There's no reason to, to go hard on him. He may... That's a fairly normal response from him. But it would be funny. He did get very agitated, which actually, from what I've heard from, from, from people on YouTube, is very normal. When people are wrongly accused of something, they usually do get very agitated. Nah, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I'll, I'll, it, it, it's hard, but I'll let it oh, go. thank you. Yeah, no, I'm quite gracious. I'm gonna Behind go through building, all of them. Behind this there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Mm, and how do we get That's there? That's easy. See that door there? Mm. First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. I have to go for a, a hole really in the fence. A big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. 
No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. If you say so. I'm going to continue listening to them. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Oh, I didn't catch that at all. <laughs> See, I need that in real life. I need these fuckers in real life. I didn't catch that in the slightest. <laughs> okay. I like how type an R. I heard like two extra voices. Yes. And you're both opposing and I love it. I love my instincts. So my instincts are good. Except for empathy. Empathy is foreign. <laughs> uh, I don't care if he's the bartender or not. Let's go. Let's go. I've gained experience. Pog. Not I want to so think. so fast, Mr. Feminist. You owe me 130 real. The fuck is real? No one is Get saying real money. the multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But? but. <laughs> Why are you saying this now? Let's bail! Time huh? to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like the- I certainly do not. I certainly do not. <laughs> that There are like three peeps in here. Yes, yes. Three three peeps who are like in my head as well. Making decisions for me. Talking to me like the voices. In love. Island, em Island Empire vibes. I like Island Empire. Anyway. Yeah. My necktie is no, right. Don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk. Save your fair. Ooh. I don't owe you shit. Um, that's a low chance of success. Do you think they would kill me? <laughs> I doubt it, right? That would be a little bit of an overreaction, killing me if I run away. Mm, that's very low. That's a very low chance of success. I can argue. I mean, Volition, I don't know. He's, he seems like a bit of a douche, honestly. Uh, I will fight him, though. I don't want to run oh. away. I don't, don't owe you owe shit. shit! No. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit, you owe me money. Mm. We do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? Wait, what? <laughs> no, he called me a F word? Did he? When? When did he do that? Huh? I'm pretty sure he didn't do that. <laughs> sounds like extortion to me. Um. Sounds, sounds like you know, extortion to me, personally. Time. Some hobo comes in here or some I'm a detective, actually. Off the, boat. the next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please, just give me the money. Um, me being a cop makes me want to give them the money, though, because I'm already, like, an asshole. <laughs> Slips away unnoticed in very big quotation marks, yeah. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! No. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> That's such a funny. Uh, yeah, my necktie is speaking to me. I know that. It did it actually more than twice. We already heard it upstairs. Uh, what, do I, what do I owe this place for? But what exactly is money? What are you, brain damaged? I might be. It's possible. Money is what grown-up people use mm -hmm. to pay for things. Things like, Sounds like this a scam. hospital room or, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Sounds fake, but okay. <laughs> the tie is super aggressive. Beat it into submission. Yeah, the tie goes a little bit too hard sometimes, I feel like, so far. Uh, proceeds to show him the coins you found. Is this money? P proceed, but don't show him the coins. They're yours. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant yes. Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his Oh, is he gonna pay bottom. for me? Let's go! That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any oh. money either. Well, never mind then. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for letting me know. I wouldn't have known. The horrible tie. I love it. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, what happens I'm now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... He shrugs. Yeah, maybe later. Maybe I'll pay. So. Maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? I live in right? Jamrock. It's not that far away. Uh, fuck this place. I'll take my chances on the streets. I don't have a home. I don't remember where my home is. I mean, I really don't. Isn't there somewhere else I can stay around here? F fuck this place. I'll take no, my chances on the streets. There's no need. You really need to take this up with your station. Mm. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Mm. Call them. Ask okay. for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Yeah, fine. Good luck. 
The man wants to say something, then he thinks better of it. Okay. Well. By the way, yeah. where is home? I don't know. The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I have no idea. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Mm. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Uh, f south. You don't really know, do you? <laughs> I don't. Does this mean I'm homeless? I only have a vague blackened image, a vague, let's say. blackened image. Yes. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Maybe not. <laughs> Why did you think you wouldn't have to deal with this kind of stuff from a cop, Garte? That's, that's true, though. That is actually a true thought. Uh, I live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop! Hobo cop, let's go! Uh, I could trace the way back somehow to be exact street, the number on a building. I mean, maybe. Maybe. You could try. I could Run try. Some addresses in I have a new thought. When you get the time. But I want to... Maybe a street or an yeah. apartment will appear. Maybe. Okay, so we have two thoughts now. Where are my thoughts? Inexplicable feminist agenda. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's a problem. Ah, Tench here. Tench came back home. Very nice. So Tench was gone. That answers my question from earlier. Research time. Three hours and 45 minutes. Damn. That's a whole stream. And a little bit. Hi, Tenji. Har. Did you say har? <gasps> Did you just say har to me? Hello. Oh yeah, remember to save. How to save, though? I t clicked on all of my options already. It only auto-saved before. I don't know how to save yet. I do not know how to save yet. I hope it'll teach me at some point. Something stirs in you. Something interdisciplinary. Yes, it is a new newly formed reaction to the tyrannical gender roles around you. <laughs> or <laughs> something you've always had? One thing is for sure, you're not a mild feminist. Oh no, there's an incendiary thought aimed at undermining the very pillars of society. Look at how slow it is to scroll here. It's really hard, by the way. Uh, could you f fashion them into some sort of a weapon, perhaps? A first strike weapon uh, to decapitate the XY chromosome hege hegemony. I could do that. Can I do that? Can I internalize this? It says it takes a long time. Yeah, I'll do it. Stop. No, I'm not gonna stop. Oh, do I actually have to? No. Do I actually have to, like, stand here for three hours and 45 minutes? Or does this happen passively while I go through the game? Oh, yeah, maybe it's, like, a menu that you can pull up. Can I do multiple at once? What's the other one? Lo lonesome long way home. How long does this one take? Six hours, brother. I'm fine. I think I can do this passively, yes? Inextricable feminist agenda. I'm assuming. Otherwise, this would be insane. Like, no way they want me to do this for three hours. But, like, three real-time hours is insane anyway, isn't it? You don't have to stand around, though. Yeah, if it, is it real-time hours? That's insane. What the fuck? Uh, let's rewind. Rewind. Trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the race channel. Bridge southwest to here. Fall over. Get up. Okay, yeah. I guess we could do that. However, I'm already doing something else right now. I don't think I can do multiple ones. Okay, this is doing its thing. That's fine, probably. I'm not going to do that. I can pay for damages. I don't think I will be doing that either. Done. Do I have done ones? Internalizing thought stream. I'm ready. Let's go. And you can... Oh, you can do multiple ones at once. Should I then do multiple ones at once, maybe? Someone reported the hanging to the RCM. Who made the call? Yeah. Who made the call? Good question. Call Sylvie using Kim's shortwave to ask whether she made the call. I think that's what we want to do right now. I've already found the shoe. This one's done. I found the shoe. Why can't I mark it as done? If I found my shoe... Oh well. Uh, I want to use your shortwave radio. How do I do yes. that? Uh -uh. It's your car, right? <laughs> it's in your car. We gotta find it. Just like IRL, you need a lot of time to do it. I guess that's fair. Shit, I forgot where my thoughts are. Oh, that's where my thoughts are. I can internalize you two. Okay, okay, I can internalize multiple ones at once. Okay, pog, 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 pog. I guess I will be doing that then. And Oh, you're back from the bus. That's good. Ah, I can save. I can quick save or I can save, save. I'll quick save, sure. Why not? We haven't made any horrible mistakes just yet. I don't feel forced to do ones you don't care about, though. Yee, okay. Does it have any, like... 
negative side effects, only do the ones that you think are interesting. I mean, I don't really think that this is very interesting, to be fair. But we only have two at the moment, so we might as well do them both, right? Although this will take forever. Uh, what's up? Hi, Theo. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about this, but what is this? What's the theme of this? Uh, a heap of snow melts in the wheelbarrow, by the way. A lot. Psychology. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm going in mostly blind, so I can't really tell you. It's a mystery. The street sign reads, fuck the police. Let's actually go. Okay. This one too, or this one different? Pigs go home. The street name is a Yes. Ill illegible. There you go. Illegible. That's not how it goes. The RCM in Martinez. What can yeah. I help you with? The young woman looks up at you. Uh, I have questions. Of course. What can I help you with? Ah, uh, what's this fuck the police business? I would love to inquire more about that, but like in a non-threatening way. We need directions Excuse too, me? though. She doesn't understand. She's uncomfortable. Oh. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. Okay, I will. She shifts in her seat awkwardly. Sorry. Of course. Where to? Ah, uh, the dead body. Where am I? What's up north? What's east? What's south? What's west? I don't know. What is up north? I guess. I mean, the dead body, right? It's like up there. Over there. We know in good faith that there should be a body in a tree somewhere. So much we do know. Yeah, that's all that we do know for now. There's the pier. The Cape Side apartment buildings. Some more tenements. Not a lot, really. Okay, what's east? The harbor gates. Oh, we have a harbor. Promotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. Mm. A fleet store too. Fleet? That has three T's in it. That's grammatically impossible. What the fuck? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken. I think some kind of accident, probably. Mm, what's on the other side Just of the canal? Coast. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there, and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. Okay, sounds like it took a while. Rows of stalls under a broad roof, where silvery fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere, mm -hmm. pouring from the heavens in the shadow of the old church. Shake it off, you seem to be under some kind of cold spell. Yeah, that sounds shivers. Oh yeah, I got some shivers from that. Anything else? I don't need that, thank you. Yeah, oh, here you can quick save 3 of 5 too? Is that so? It's we'll just see. water. No, actually. God, there's I a lot of water. I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, hmm. but they're hard to reach. Are we on an island? Well, no, North is not an island. In so. the West is the miracle. In the West is the miracle. Mm, okay. And where am I right what now? What do you mean? Uh, I'm disoriented. Just yes, tell me sir. where we are. District please. of Martinez. This intersection around. is called Roundabout North. Okay. Okay. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. Mm, for sure, sure. The lieutenant seems uncomfortable with the level of disorientation you're displaying. No yeah. problem. Uh, I don't care who you of are. Course. You seem unimportant. I won't hold you back. <laughs> I'm joking. Her gloves. She's just a random woman. You though. get the feeling that you need them. Oh. You have a dead body to deal with after all. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I should get those gloves, huh? Thank you, Inland Empire. <laughs> Good morning, bro dragon. Hello. Uh, one more thing. Sure. Can I borrow your gloves? Them. Oh, I okay. I have another pair. <laughs> she hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I appreciate it. I will wear the gloves now. For now and forever. Put them on. Yes. Aw, oh, style, fashion, vibes. Do you like my gloves? You should. They're very good. There's also a man down here. I would talk to the man too. I wanted to talk to the, go to the car. F5 is quick save? F5 is quick save! It is. You are right. You are correct. Hello, hello, hello. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Me too. Feel like yeah. a traveler. The man mutters to himself, accenting the beats as he goes on. Uh, keep listening. From another planet. Oh, from another planet. He hey finishes there. and turns to you. Hi there. What's going on it's here? The jam, my man. Ooh, it's the jam. He motions towards the sprawl of lorries with a sweeping gesture. What's the jam? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Oh. Arbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation it's a different given. Different type of jam. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all-around clusterfuck. 
Oh, I see. Hey, Tommy, what's up, Tommy? Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. He glances upon south. Days. Down the road. Upon days. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. <laughs> like yeah. That. Yeah, exactly. Cool. <laughs> so how long have you been here? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Unlikely. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout. <laughs> Extravagantly phrased, but I can roll with it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Yeah, a week is pretty long. Strike, strike, strike. Yes, we but support the, the strike. Love, however, a touch of sorrow. Oh, there is a touch of sorrow, is so there? So tell me, what do you need? Got any smokes on you? Is he smoking? He is smoking. Oh, I could get a smoke. Uh, what else do we have? We can... I want to learn more about the strike as well, but I also want to learn more about the dead man. But first of all, got any cigs for me? Nope. Don't smoke. Oh. Huh? <laughs> he nods towards a big lorry behind him. You literally are smoking in your animation. Some what the fuck? Some of the other drivers do, though. There's still a few around. Look at him. Waiting for the jam to disperse. Or waiting for the sweet release of death. He's literally smoking. What the what the heck else is that supposed to be? You fucking yeah, liar. Nothing wrong with that statement. <laughs> Your senses have nothing to add. My perception, I'm blind. Elsewhere. <laughs> I'm blind. Why am I blind? Clearly, you are hallucinating. <laughs> perception, like, nah, it's you could fine. Also check He's the good. Down the street. For it. Okay, with sure. With three T's. Rebel Shaw's weird. Ravishal's weird. Okay. With three, they have three T's. It shouldn't be. That's not That's not how grammar works. But whatever. Tell me more about the strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Oh. Workers got a blockade set Nice. Up, making Barricades. Demands, no way in or out. What's the union demanding? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Sure. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike I mean, negotiator type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. I'll talk to them when ah, I see yes. them. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. Yeah. Ching. Yeah, that makes sense. Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. Hmm. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. Things, all of us do. Yes. Now, well, the other drivers, probably. all Us of lorry drivers. Yeah, the drivers, Cam, of course. Nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Hmm. Or laid. Not that I he blame him, really. He smiles awkwardly. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Not you, though? Not my thing. Hell transient pleasures fucking are yeah, baby. Let's I go. I the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. Tommy Lum... Tommy the man... Tommy the man is my favorite character. I've decided now. He glances down the road towards the horizon, a clint of something What's in his eye. What's better than chasing transient pleasures? The more transient, the better. I mean, depends when on the transient empty, pleasure. And get onto the next one. I mean, some transient pleasures are pretty nice. I do like monster energy. That's a good transient pleasure. Others less so. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking transient pleasures means like just addictive substances substances and stuff like that earthly pleasures you could also say that's what i'm thinking it is anyway uh know anything about the dead man the one hanging behind the hostel there he ain't one of us drivers i know that mm. all accounted for otherwise i haven't really asked about that been wasting time right here Keep him busy. What are you busy with? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. That makes a lot of sense. Let's go. He is a healthier person than a lot of us, and he isn't even real. Yeah, but he is Tommy the man. And your a conclusion? Sense of surprise, there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Sad. Okay, got it. Uh, I don't care what they're hauling. Should I care? I guess I do care. Oh, what are you hauling? High grade narcotics. Illegal firearms, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Time to arrest him. No. Wicked! I always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. Oh, sad. Found runs a nice, clean business. This hollow cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Okay, okay. I'd like a tracksuit. Can I get they one of those? They usually get shipped to Grad in the auction. Grad. 
though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Mm, transient is stuff that will pass without any inherent value. That makes sense. That makes sense. So that does include a lot of, like, cardinal pleasures. Like, good food and good drugs and sex, too, I suppose. <laughs> uh, so nothing illegal, whatever. Could I get one of those phone track suits you're hauling? That's what I was thinking. Well, pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. Please. The bosses won't be happy. Please. Okay, no. The man taps so his like fingers Monster Energy. Yes. Yes. against his arm. Nice. He's a rhythm man. Hi, Skandara. What's up? We're Don't playing. Be a stranger. We're playing the 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 thinking game, the thinking man's video game, as they say. <laughs> Nobody says that. Don't be a stranger. I would never. Can I walk in here? I can. Can I see anything in here? Not really. No. Goods from the lottery. Uh, from the lorry. <laughs> Haphazardly litter the surroundings. Of course they do. I can go up here. I like the art so much. So so much. Okay. Let's walk though. We. I wanted to get to the car to do something. Before I'm you sure. stands a motor carriage. Mm -hmm. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery. Bearing the number 57. Oh no, it's called livery. Uh-oh. I've been saying livery this whole time in my head. Or also out loud, potentially. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. Oh, yes, it Jesse. hasn't had time to cool off yet. We need to think. <laughs> Come on, Tommy hasn't any of your cargo ever. You know, falling off the truck. Wink, wink. Come on, hand it over, please. These tires, wheels of cars are drawn in great detail. Thread pattern. There, there's so much. Yeah, these are like, this is 3D rendered, right? It's like a mix out of like painting and 3D rendered stuff. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I would like to open in the, the door. cabin. You are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone mm -hmm. on the hook, a pull out toolbox under the seat and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Okay, good. I think we need the radio, the frequency right? The tableau lights up and the green button labeled Prime line glows like a feline mm. eye, and then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. <gasps> Not electrical waves kittens. Cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. A woman? Oh my god, is this her? Uh, this is precinct 57. No. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hi, Alice. I need you to pay for my bills, please. Thank you. Hey, Mo. D. D indeed. D, D, D indeed. D indeed. Uh, I do appreciate the dark. Yeah, the deep voice. His voice is so good. The voice acting in this is great in general. I'm really vibing Hello, with it. Hello, Alice. Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. Mm. I'm putting him on. Yes. Yes, that's me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Come in, Delta 10. This is Firewalker. Copy. Uh, this is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? You could swear she was friendlier with the lieutenant. Yeah, I'm shocked. It's a shocker. It is. Uh, I need you... To, yeah, this... And... You need to pay for me too. But Sylvie is more important, uh, I think. Of course. What is the number, Officer? Uh, Kim, yes. give me Hold number. On. Her number is... Hench. Oh, oh, five. Let's call that number nine, right now. Four, four, <laughs> beep, two beep, nine beep. eight. Hello, happy Mother's Day. Hello, Lattice. Happy Mother's Day. Yep, is Mother's Day. I said that earlier too. Like, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the chat, which I'm sure there are plenty. Hold on, officer. That's a lot of static. At least has a very hard French accent going. Yep, that's true. Start slapping and marching rhythm on your thighs, yes. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. I don't know marching rhythm, Takes actually. A bit to get to the phone. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. Not a MILF, unfortunately. One day, one day, maybe. I believe in you. Just wait. Relax. Mmm. I hate the blue toned ones. The blue toned ones make me angry. Like, this is purple, but still, they're more blue than anything else. The blue toned ones I don't like. I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Wait, is Mother's Day? Yeah, here it is Mother's Day. I think Mother's Day is different in America? Somewhere in the world, Mother's Day is on a different day. Or Women's Day. I don't know. One of these is on a different date in some countries sometimes. Yes, hello? Oh, hi, Sylvie. A female voice greets you through the static. It sounds like she's millions of miles away from here. Uh... 
Hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about your last days at work. Let's All be right. professional. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? Uh, a lot. You can hear resentment in her tone. Really? She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. But, like, you can't actually hear that, right? Like, every time Empathy tells me something, I'm like... Maybe, oh my god, do you think Empathy is lying to me? Do you think they're lying to me? Because, like, I didn't know. There I didn't hear that no at all. Resentment in her yeah, tone. right? She wants you to ask okay, her no. out. Okay, <laughs> no. Never mind. No question about it. No, I wouldn't want to ask her out, but, like... I didn't hear any resentment in her tone. I do agree with you on that electrochemistry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um... No, not cupping. No, no, no. Not grabbing a cup. You quit your job at Whirling. Why? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not I'm really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Oh, then, okay. Wait, why aren't you comfortable discussing it with me? I, uh... Let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Yeah, the guy from Gart. That's true. Sunday is Mother's Day, yes. And it's Sunday right now because we have the clock over top. Bye, Alanis. Bye. I'll come back and watch the VOD later. Enjoy. Enjoy. I like this game so far. I'm vibing. I'm vibing very much. Uh, get away from whom? Yeah, it was Gart, right? What? No, why would you even think that? Because he told me. Because <laughs> he told me that. <laughs> Silly, don't be afraid of that pig. You have to stand up for yourself. <laughs> That's assuming a little bit much. Uh, he told me he asked you out. Are you saying it didn't happen? Please, don't bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. It actually is. I'm a detective. Everything's my business. I don't want to talk about this. Mm. You're messing everything up again. Mm. Wine, wine, wine. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Was it you who called the police? No. Not me. Okay. It's on the 28th. Oh, what? <laughs> For us, it's today. For us, it's on the 14th. Today. But that's maybe... Maybe that's just Germany? I don't know. Maybe they're different. Uh, but why didn't you call? Didn't the corpse behind your workplace bother you? Uh, it's a bit... I feel like we're not gonna get anything out of her if we ask like that. So let's just ask normally. Do you do you know who made the no, call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. Oh, man. I see. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. Huh. They use the union's phone, or the one on the coast. Mm. It was someone else. Hmm. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just oh. might take a while. Now we can antagonize her afterwards, after we get the information. Okay. I would like to antagonize what? her. What didn't you call? Me, but I thought the union already knew about the court. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Uh, what does this union have to do with anything well no that makes sense i think i mean i mean us <laughs> you should have called the police now nah, let's, let's ask no the first one, one. The, the union would get angry the union would get angry that's a bit odd okay what do you mean by you that know, what the union says goes people listen to them and they take care of their own which is like everyone here i mean that's nice i guess garbage <laughs> okay authority shut up <laughs> Squinting, squinting. This woman has been difficult. But, yeah, she's still... Well, I mean... She's not really implicated in the whole thing. Garbage, she says. Wait, Kim. Is she speaking the truth? The union? I am the authority around here. Certainly not. Uh, looks like there's a limit on my authority, then. Tell me why exactly did you, did you let a corpse hang in your backyard for weeks instead of calling us? So that would be pushing on. But that would probably not really... No, I'll talk to Kim. Yeah, what do Legally, you know about the union? No. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the dock workers union. Okay, interesting. Authority is right uh, is the right kind of a hole. He is, isn't he? Onastot Hmm, what's your one? The words are not hmm, necessary sus. to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. I didn't I don't I don't think that that's true. I didn't, I didn't get the vibe of that. Every time they tell me something about the subtext, I'm like, I don't think I agree with you. <laughs> I think he didn't have subtext in there. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna push on. Fuck it. I don't think I need any more info from her. So if I want to alienate her, I think it's fine. I, Why did you I let want to get in trouble the corpse with the hang others. in the background without calling us? Push her further. 
Show her the error of her ways. Mm, but if authority says I should do it, I immediately no, don't want to do it. Her. It sounds as if she's about to cry. Ah, choices. I don't like authority, okay? But like... I do like antagonizing people a lot. Oh well, I'm not gonna do it. I see, don't worry about it. I understand. You do? Oh. What else can I do for you? Nothing, apparently. Yeah, go on. Uh, we've got everything I, I need. Hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. Wait, why does she seem angry? Ooh, I have a very high chance of su succeeding in this. <gasps> and I get points for my feminist agenda! Whoop, whoop. Let's actually go. Come on. Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her. Didn't notice any of that, but that's okay. When she was still working there. Mm, okay, I will. Wait, before you go, you're mad at me, right? Tell me, what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skewer thing happened. The what? It just made me want to quit. Uh, what's the skua thing? The stuffed bird. The great skua. Oh. He threw it against the wall while screaming, fuck that bird, and <laughs> laughing like a maniac. I can see myself there. I can see myself there. Feminist agenda paying off. Let's actually go. God, I was holding in a breath. Uh, since one can still fail that role. I mean, one can... True, true. It is not a 100% chance of success. I would... I can definitely see myself there, yeah. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. Yeah, that sounds like me. That does sound... Bitch bird got what was coming to her. <laughs> oh no, yeah, but that sounds like me, all right. Seem like you had fun doing it, though. No, no. It's, it's something you have to do sometimes if the bird is giving you the eye. Like, what else are you supposed to do about that, right? So you're telling me that I was the one who made you quit? Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. Get over it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've had sailors fighting. Union guys grabbing my ass. Well, that's not good. Booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you. What did I do? I mean, aside from the bird. Go on, I want to know what I did. Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. I feel like the other things sound also aggressive, if not more than borderline. But okay, sure. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs <laughs> I kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. Which song? Hold on. Which song? Tell me about it. By the OO. <laughs> okay. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. We go on. Sorry. Sorry about the song. Yeah, you can. I'm sure you'll hell with that song. get enjoyment out of that song again, probably. <laughs> As you seem to have already noticed, the voices will sometimes just want to push you to do stuff they wish to do, regardless. Yes, obviously. I have, in fact, taken note of that. But sometimes they're so right. <laughs> then there was your room. Your project. An yeah. experiment to see how bad it can get in there. Oh, that sounds fun. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant. And I don't want to know. I can see myself there. I'm kidding. You something about how you're actually a real cool guy. Yeah, and I am. No one understands it. One yes. The coolest guy there is. The coolest guy in Jamrock. Yeah. Something about disco too. Disco, disco, party zaria. Probably saying that. Sounds intense, but also sounds and like then, me. I had to deal with your toilet. Oh. The one you clogged with police documents. Oh. Water damage downstairs in the kitchen. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> I want to apologize. Head down. <laughs> That's some trauma. It's pretty bad, yeah. The party went a little bit too hard, but I am a superstar, so like, you know. Listen. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. I can see myself there. <laughs> I need to stop I, saying oh, that. What police documents? The ones I had to rent out of your toilet. Uh, what happened to them? I damn it. I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I I don't do. remember anything. So, you know. Resentment gives way to concern in her voice. Uh, Narrator's voice, and this is similar to Krieg's inner voice in the Borderland games. Oh, nice. I'm gonna kill myself after this fucking bird! That's so real. She's, She's so worried me. she might have accidentally done something bad. Oh. Then she remembers it's you. Ah, 
Interesting. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them. Not mine. Yeah. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this. As if there was a reason you threw them away. Then I will be forgetting about it. <laughs> Roger. I will no longer remember this. That is very doable for me. Okay, I get it. I wasn't a very good tenant. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. Okay. Um, sorry for every- I was trying to show you the world of tomorrow. The great panic at the end. Well, you're the worst tavern wench I've ever seen. Loosen up. Do you know how to party? Mm -hmm. No, I, I think- I think this- <laughs> I think I was just trying to show you the world of tomorrow. The great panic at the God, end. I, 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 I clicked I on the wrong enough. option. Can I go just back? Try not to call me again. I clicked on the wrong option on accident. Is there a way to go backwards? I don't think so, though. Is there- like, I, I misclicked. Is that possible? I don't think it matters that much, but I would love to know. Is there a way to do that? I shook my mouse a little too hard and clicked on the thing I didn't want to do. Help. No, I don't think you can. Oh well. Oh well. Rip. I was meaner than I wanted to be. And now misclicking. No going back for a misclick. I see how it is. Okay. Uh, We're gonna go over. You can only continue from save games. Yeah, and I'm not gonna, like... You can only save through everything. Like, I feel like they should give you... Well, but then again. Not for, like, important options, I guess. But, like, stuff like this, I feel like they should allow you to go back. Because it's not that important. I will try to click more carefully. But when I spoke to Gart, it seemed like he thought you left because of him. Wait, really? No. This is absolutely not true. I like Gart. I really do. Didn't he cross a line when he asked you out? No. I was actually flattered. Huh. I've always liked him. You're bad at communicating. It was just bad timing. With the corpse and all that. <sighs> it's pretty bad timing. There's a pause. You can almost see her on the other side. The telephone cord coiled around her index. Hmm. I didn't know what to say to him later. Then you came and destroyed the place. So I left without explaining. Told him maybe. You should have told him. I'm gonna tell him. Okay, but I will mess it up mess though. It up. I will be please messing don't it up. Take out your gun or something. I don't have my gun right now, but when I find it, I will point it at guard. Thank you. Bye. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Hmm. Yeah, I need to report. But reporting is reporting my missing badge. I want them to pay for my thing. But yeah, Just maybe I can do both. Stuff. I don't know. A corpse is such a deal breaker. I hate it when that happens. Yes. She puts you on hold, the static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. Two, ten, this is 41st uh, coming. Oh, uh, he's even more French. He has a French accent like I do. Je par pidieu. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white you know? rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio, the radio switchboard. switchboard. You can try calling them and not tell them about your badge. Yeah, that's that's what I want to do, probably. Hi, this is me here. I work at your station. Then for what's your status? Over. Uh, it's not good. It's very Eight, bad. 1020, over. Please just talk human to me. These numbers mean nothing to me. Take your message, sir. Over. Uh, I'm in dire need of financial assistance at the moment, actually, at the moment. Then for I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... Is it him? <laughs> what does he want? Who's Jean? I want he money. money. I want money. Don't give that asshole <gasps> anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Shut the fuck up! Your last name is too long. All right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Uh, over. Mm. That is, uh, too bad. It's paramount to the investigation that you grant me money. He says it's important to the case. It is actually so important. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Mm. Request denied, sir. Over. What is all my fucking charm for if I can't even charm my stupid bosses? Nothing is working. Medium success. Nothing is working. Well, cool. That's a great success for me. <laughs> Half light. Not Half-Life, though. Please, I'm begging you. I don't. I don't even have a place to. 
to, to sleep tonight? He says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Yes, please. Well, I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown then. Shut up. Vicmar said. Yeah, I heard him. Who cares what this Vicmar said? Pull on their heartstrings. I agree. I agree. I should do that. I agree. Ask someone to shut up for having a long, a too long a name. I think that's good. Yeah. Use up your charm after destroying the woman's favorite song by repeating it in the karaoke. That's not enough, how it works. Officer. This begging is below your dignity. No, nothing is below my dignity. Uh, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. Please come and get me. Mm, I would like to beg, but that's not begging. I feel like. Uh, I don't want to actually them to come and beg me. Okay, I heard Anything you. Else, no sir. funds then. I would have, I would have loved to 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 beg, but they didn't really give me an option. So shame. Uh, yeah. There's some personal details I'd like to discuss. Then for your badge should have most of your personal details. The cover of that. Over. Of course, my badge. I can look at my badge that I have. Then for anything else for you, sir. Over. I don't want to talk about the badge. Over. That's all for now. Ten, ten. Over and out. Over and out. The static ends with a loud click, then everything's silent in the cabin. 18 kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Pudier, around a dozen cops. Okay. That the is how it works. The small room is smart. filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz no. with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is Why in bandages, and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Why do I know Did that? Happen? I'm not there. How do I know this? How do I know this information when I'm not there? What is going on? Yeah. Uh, she asks, startled. Uh, Jean Vicmar turns to her and says, What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He seemed confused, delirious even. Vicmar stops to think. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger fucking his fist. Laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean. Ah, uh, Esprit is supernatural. Entrance. Okay, well that that explains it yeah, actually. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Oh, my last name is Mullen. Yeah, Max, right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money, it was enough. None of this is funny. No, it's, it's a little sad. funny. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. Mm. We must help him. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. She did. Mino looks down at the neatly polished black shoes. There's a f quiet firmness to her voice when she yeah? speaks. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on carrot juice? He's a lost man. Then just fire him if you hate him I so just much. Know what? I can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. The crowd in the room has started fidgeting uncomfortably. Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. I mean, I didn't say that in this conversation, but yeah, I can see myself there. He sighs heavily and turns to address the this room. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. Thank you. I guess I can hold over the report for a few days. Thank you. Good. That's nice of you guys. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. It can be funny and sad. Yeah, I know these words. I've said them before. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, mm. the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Cool. Okay. Do we need anything else? I mean, not really, right? We should look at the corpse, probably. What's the, the toolbox? The drawer though? slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Nice. Can I do Take anything with that? Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. Okay, okay. This fucker is scary. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. Oh, is he? But what can you do? Work is work. Uh, I mean, ooh, chain cutter. Chain cutter is probably good. Flashlight, I feel like we don't need that right now. Can I take all of them or the do I get encumbered? And sleek. Snap, snap. Those snap, cutters snap. in your hand. Do I get encumbered if I carry too much? The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. Cold and heavy. Mm. Like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Okay, you look 
weird physical instrument. Let's go. Vibes, vibes. Take you everything. You opening all sorts of doors and lids. Yeah, I would assume. Uh, I would like the flashlight too. It's robust, too. weatherproof, and well made. Police issue. Blue. Blue. I'll take it. And Sega says, thank you. <laughs> In my head, it's Hassan's voice, though. <laughs> I also, I have, I have uh, the thank you from Vosh still on my soundboard. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise I, I miss. think I picked that up now. To say it like Vosh does. <laughs> cool. The pull-out toolbox slides back into I've its nest. I've stolen all your tools, tools Kim. Warm glow all of them. The steering levers and the radio on its hook. I will run my fingers over the steering levers for absolutely no reason. The white suede feels luxurious mm. under the touch. And the metal suede. clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Well, pog. I will also tap on the fuel preheater gauge. As you gauge. tap on the gauge, gauge. the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's okay. in the large orange sector. Don't know what that means. Indicating the engine is warm. Now I know what that means. Next to the gauge is a red switch labeled heat. Why is it warm though? We There's don't wanna... no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Okay. Alternative translation. Don't even think you can drive my MC. Huh? Kim, what are you looking at? What is this machine? This is the Cupris Kinema. My motor carriage. You can use the toolbox and the radio. I did. Like. I did already motor do carriage, all of those things. Motor carriage. Something bad with a motor carriage. Ooh. A dark lump rises in I'm not throat. vibing with cars, I see. I have never vibed with cars before, actually, as a matter of fact. Uh, mm, why do I not like that? Why do I not like that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. It's probably nothing. It's probably Forget nothing. Forget I brought it up. Okay. Please proceed with the carefree lollygagging. I will. <laughs> so, do all policemen in the RCM have such cool motor carriages? The Cupris Motocar does provide most of our patrol vehicles, yes. And can we turn it on and drive somewhere? No, I'm afraid not. Mm. We have a murder case on our hands. Yeah, but maybe we Remember? need to drive somewhere for a murder case. But what is a mor motor carriage, a though? A motorized vehicle, officer. I'm sure you are familiar with the concept. Uh, We've had these for nearly vaguely. a century. Vaguely, vaguely. In the cabin, you see a set of Yeah, I know leaders. what's in here. I can leave. I really like the design uh, and the name of the motor carriages. It's, it looks crazy, yeah. Oh, we auto-saved. Hell yeah. What do we have? Things to do. We have a map. We don't. We have a mirror. Formidable. We have impossible. Sure. And we have tasks. But I want to check out the dead body now. Thank you. Broski, you gotta look into the group chat. I will look into the group chat. What are we doing? It's gonna be me. Oh, holy shit. Let's go. Congratulations! Oh, that's why your brother needed to talk to you. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I guess I can say you, you're gonna be an uncle finally. It's it's grunkle time. <laughs> True grunkle time. There are bottles inside. Congratulations! You could pick them up if you had a bag. Dead body, dead body. <laughs> dead. We're gonna go check out a dead body now. What's that thing? Uncle time. Rue de Saint Giselaine. Gislin! Like Jelaine Maxwell? Is that like her? Congrats! Let's go! Uncle time! Weehoo! You spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay, yeah, that hole is pretty big, actually. So, wait, I would like to save, though, actually. It's a quick saving again. Hello! Oh, there's a child. Can I approach? Oh, there's a dead body. And there's a child doing rhythmic exercises. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. Pog. <laughs> oh hell, the child. Yo, what's up, child? Kuno's got this. The boy is uh, throwing rocks at the dead body. Can't be older than 12. I thought they meant the rocks at first. Thanks for your attention. I'll leave again and be excited somewhere else. Let's go. Spread the good news. Kuno. That's Kuno. Okay. Oh yeah, not a comfy Kuno. kuno -es? Okay. Um, a moment of your Can't time, talk, please. Pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. I mean, electrochemistry, uh, electrochemistry has a point. I'm not gonna lie. 
Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kids on drugs. Ooh. Yeah, Kuno, ride the lightning, Kuno. You're on drugs. I wouldn't be Kuno on drugs. <laughs> he wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno. The rake? rake at him, Kuno. Oh, I thought they meant the creepy pasta. The fuck does Kuno know <laughs> what a really, rake is? But, you know. Kuno is not a gardener. It's a creepy pasta, actually. It's a weird, like, skin monster that sits at the foot of your bed. Anyway, mm, kid, you want to hang out? I'm not an arc. <laughs> yeah, as if that's not gonna work. Uh, uh, although it would be funny. Fuck no, Kuno yeah. doesn't buy that I shit. I know that. Fucking entrapment shit. True, is entrapment. When, it, when you ask a cop if he's a cop and he doesn't tell you it's entrapment, actually. Are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f***s, Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. No, that's actually not what I said. I asked if you're siblings. That is actually kind of the opposite. Uh, I have questions for you, buddy. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. Aww. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Oh my god, his fucking voice broke. What you got? <laughs> I can't imitate that, actually. Who is Kuno? Well, it's obviously him. Uh, the body. What do you know about it? About the crime scene? You kids often play in the yard? Okay, this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? I don't know. I want to find, find cool places to play around the area. I might have questions later. For now, let's talk about something yeah, else. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Cool. He spits over his shoulder, then looks back at you. The body. What do you know about this? Shitload pig. What's your question? Ooh, you know a lot. Don't okay. Tell the pig shit, Kuno. No, but like Kun Kuno S has a point though. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, what do we want to know, Kim? If I Kim? were to want to waste my time, mm. which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. The usual aggressive kid. Punch him. Punch him. No, no, no he's idea vibing. What the usual is. Ah. Uh. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Okay, I will. Thank you, suggestion. Uh, do you know how it got up there? Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck him. Kuno uses the fuck him for target practice. No, who he was, not who he is now, you End of conversation. dimwit. Very strong. You should be this stoic. <laughs> as stoic as the kid. I don't believe in stoicism, my friend. She does have a point. You know, uh, do you know how it Probably got up there? Planned. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. I mean, that's very unlikely. So you didn't see you it happen? Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Don't care. Thank you for telling me this. Okay, where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... Some fucking... He looks around trying to come up with something. Mexico. Oh, I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. Uh, where's Night City? Kuno <laughs> gives this info out on a need-to-know basis. I do need and to know. you don't need to I know. actually do need to know. He draws snuff Kuno didn't snows. smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Yeah, I mean... It's fair to ask, yes. Since it's... Oh, it's Goro Majima's birthday. Time to listen to his karaoke songs. Let's go. Enjoy. I was like, Goro? But that's, that's a different Goro. <laughs> Well, have you seen anybody suspicious around here? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in oh, the Oh, you hate dance. to see it. You that hate to see it. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. That seems suspicious to me, too. Yeah, type is very much hungry right now. Type is really interested in eating food. Type should eat some food. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. <laughs> All right. More on this later. Right now, let's talk about You're something else. You're testing Kuno's patience, yeah. You're, like, literally too, too fucking stone of boy. I, I can deal with you. Don't worry Get about lost. it. The fucking censoring, bro. Is this streamer mode? Oh, he's a character from Yakuza. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Kuno might be a suspect, potentially. Uh, I have more questions about the crime scene, I guess. Yeah. The kid, nope, yeah, I don't. Whatever. I actually Kuno don't. Give a shit. I gotta ask, Kuno's who is Kuno? Kuno, pig. Kuno's Kuno. The boy points at his chest with both thumbs. Kuno. Primal. Violent. Half Light really likes Kuno, I think. Kuno sounds like something you'd call a rabbit dog. Is that some kind of gang name? So you refer to yourself in the third person. The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person? Iconic, thank you. He looks slightly confused, but proud he came up with that retort. Mm, makes right sense. As he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss. I hear a what? Fence. I hear a what? Watch out, Kuno! 
The thing behind the fence starts squealing. Shrill and... Oh, okay. Sh wait, what? Shrill and violent like a fire alarm. So you mean the person, the, Help, the child. It's volcano! Help! Ray! <laughs> the sounds get louder as the child shouts at the windows overlooking the yard. Help! He's got the Kuro out! It's literally not true, you little shits. Authority would suggest to whoop his ass, just like his father. Probably. Authority is a bitch after all, so you know. Uh, just answer the questions. He's digging his dick out. Escalate, Kuno. Escalate. You're afraid. Oh my god, they're doing like a whole acting improv. Kuno. Somebody please. Ooh, I could physically. Don't punch him, that's a bad idea. You could punch him, but I could also fail. This is a red check. It cannot be retried. See, sometimes you can retry things then, huh? It says retried. Should I do that? But the chances are not great. They're both, they're about even. I mean, it's not that bad. But we could do something else too. Do we want to punch him? Okay, let's go. I'm listening to type. Let's try to punch him. I bet we'll fail epically. Oh! <laughs> What an idiot. I love that. You didn't shut him down. No, I did not. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Oh, he got Instead, hurt. Instead, it you down with it. <gasps> oh, I love that. Ouch, my arm and my fucking Kuno knee. Can't believe this shit. Well, at least he stopped screaming about rape, so you know. No one it's pretty good. Kuno. Pig, Kuno thought you had this. Nah, what I happened? did not have, Kuno have this. Kuno can't do anything now. He's writhing with joy, like the power you gave him is too much to take. You know, I feel that. I vibe with that. Charade was about to establish a dominance over you. It's safe to say he has succeeded. Yeah, he's vibing, dude. I pulled a muscle. <laughs> fuck your shoulder, fuck your knee, fuck your fat body up. Oh, it damaged my morale. Poor baby. Kim, help me up. Stop laughing. Yeah, I deserve this. <laughs> Someone call an ambulance. I really hurt myself. No, I think this is yes, justified. You deserve this. Trying to show your dick to Kuno. Kuno was scared. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea of the shit that? No, no. Does Kim? Can Kim count me up? No. no. That's a bit rude. Come on. I'm your partner after all. Uh, yeah. Laugh it up. Let's just get back to it. I suppose. Self-damage, let's actually go. Kuno is just strong, you know? Kuno fan club over here. Kuno beat the shit out of the popo! <laughs> the kid is laughing so hard, tears are running down his freckled cheek. Honestly, you not to tempt such forces. he's vibing. He's vibing. I would vibe too. The annoyance in his voice is directed at you, not the gremlins. Now, how about we go and do something worth the public's time? Oh, maybe. But that... Can we look at that? The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. Ooh. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Ooh. Not gonna lie, trying to do something simple, failing and getting seriously hurt after is very reliable at your age. You talk like you're like 50. You're not that old. Oh yeah, since it uh, passed now, punching Kuno would have made him respect you more since his father does it. That's rough. That is rough. I don't like that. You seem to be holding your breath. Uh, I guess I'll look down then. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. Mm. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out mm, an he's ungodly been the, weak. the smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Yeah. Somebody should have really taken this shit down, no? Uh, endurance legendary. Let, let go of your nose without throwing up. That's probably not gonna happen. What is that? Why is it Active so bad? Decay. Yeah. It's okay to throw Makes up sense. with his arm. No one is judging. It's okay to throw up. <laughs> He's about to blow. Cop's gonna blow, Kuno. I can throw up. I'm gonna throw up now. I hope that doesn't hurt the me too smell bad. Is repulsive. It pushes in it from the mouth. Right. More instant and more familiar than anything you. Oh, familiar. Expected. Why is more that? More fever than odor. It fills your mind. Flushing you from within. Let it out, boy. Let it out. I'm sure that's not gonna hurt, is it? Like, it's just throwing up. That doesn't hurt. Let it out, baby. Also, a metophilia. Uh, a metophobia warning. I mean, a metophilia warning, too. I wouldn't want anybody you to get feel turned on. <laughs> great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out. 
burst, burst by burst. burst. I mean, that's probably good, honestly, if he still has some, like, shit in there that he shouldn't have. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet, and your throat stings from the stomach acid. What a weak-ass police officer he is, though. Fucking corpse. Give it. <laughs> the lieutenant hands you a blue checkered handkerchief. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Uh, yes, give me. There is frit nearby. A frit of the hostel. with the tea. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... If they don't, he points at the greenhouse. Okay. She has another... Yeah. Let's go. Listen to that. Vibe out. Oh, Kim got us. Kim got us. I'm 50-year-old's where it really matters. My bones and spine. Rip There's to you. There's a greenhouse here. And a gardener oh, okay. with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Oh, okay, Acquiring true. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Ah. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Cool. Good to know. Thank you. What else? Uh, this kid's ladder is rickety but still climbable. So I can climb that and cut it down later, maybe. Someone's trying to grow herbs in the greenhouse. That's good. What do I have? Tools. Oh, yeah, I got hello tools. And I have the handkerchief. That's nice. Thank you. So now I guess I should talk to the gardener lady again and well we could look around a little bit more. What's this? Give me. Tell me. This winch mechanism has been oxidized for some years. Oh, what's that? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eatonite. Perception medium. <laughs> Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? I don't know. Because it's nice and orderly. Well laid pallets. Easy on the eyes. Of course. No, there's more to this. You get this strange feeling. Oh, thank you, Inland Empire. What feeling? Hard to say. It's gone now. Ah. Feelings pass, you see. Especially the small ones. So I can, I can open this white. Okay, 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 I see. Well, then later, perhaps. Can I go over here? No, that is like behind the thing. Okay, is there anything else I can check out here? Oh, this thing. You know, I'm not sure if I ever managed to get the body down in my run. Oh, they don't do that all the time? I see. Oh, hell yeah, shit. What is this? Magnesium. Oh, that could heal me, maybe. Potentially. What's what's this? Got money. There are several footprints in the mud. I have very low perception. By work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Yeah, that's not helpful, is it? Get an exact count. Unlikely. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails. Mm. All over the yard. I have some of those too. Maybe more than twelve. Ooh. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. I see exactly how many. Let's go. Go over them one by one. one. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number forty-six. Okay. Lucky, lucky. I got a good roll. Let's go. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number forty-four. I'm sure the game would like take note of it. If there's like something important Three. to these, hobnailed work boot, steel Hobnail. reinforced toes, number forty-three. Mm -hmm. Four, standard work boot, number forty-five or forty-six. Which is it? You don't know. I don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Okay. Five, another standard work boot, steel reinforced toes. Number 44. I'm sure this info is super Six, important for us. An aberration. Light as air. Hmm. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. By the way, by number, do they mean like... The size? Or what exactly do they mean? 70% Udacha. 70% Udacha. No, 17%. 70 and 17 is a big difference. Yeah, I'm not a fighter. I'm a... Viber. Is that shoe sizes? That's crazy. Why does everybody have this big, big of feet? Male Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. Because these shoe sizes are massive. What the fuck? I'm pretty You're good at this, bad. ain't I? It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it. In a strange, beautiful way. I know, right? Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the mm. others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. That's out of the ordinary. 
You wear f f 43, 44. Damn. Yeah, sizes are different per region. That is true. But we're like Eight. in France. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. Mm. There's an aberration in the pattern of the soul, however. The right soul is mm. smoother. More worn. Now somebody walks Homing. with a limp or something, maybe. <laughs> How many? The lieutenant's eyes have been tracking your eyes movements. Eight. Four hundred million! No, eight is I fine. I was pretty off then. I can't hit twenty. No, way off. Way. Way off. Uh, the same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, a few. Yeah, a few. The heavy one is interesting, I think. Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Perhaps. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Perhaps you have European forty-two. See, every all of these are ta all of these are bigger than yours. All of them. He might be right. Two hundred kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Maybe. One of them was carrying him over. Him over maybe was a giant. Could have been an extremely obese person though. Or I don't know. Possibly. No. Yes. It makes sense if somebody was carrying them. We also have light steps. Maybe that's a kid, I guess, but he's not wearing work boots, I don't think. And 41 is huge. is pretty big for a kid. Okay, that one's smaller woman, than you, actually. Or a kid? Yeah, maybe, but like, they're still pretty big. Could okay. be a woman, though. How do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Hmm. I'm just saying, saying random things while looking at holes in the mud. I have no idea where any of this is coming from. That's okay. Go on. Yeah. Uh, and an aberration. One soul is smoother than the other. Maybe somebody has an issue with a leg. Let's name it the old soul. Do you have any ideas, Someone Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Oh, that like could be joiner, true, too. a mm. Or maybe a drummer? A drummer. That's fun. He regrets it the moment he says it. Why? A drummer? <laughs> so one of the people we are looking for is a drummer? Don't say anything, just nod. I don't know why I said that. We are not looking for a drummer. We are looking for a group of dog workers. I mean, it could be a drummer. You don't know what he does in his the free lieutenant time. lieutenant clearly appreciates the chance to clear up the drummer issue himself. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Okay, okay. Vibes, vibes, vibes. I was actually thinking the same thing. <laughs> of course. He doesn't seem to hear you. Looking south, toward mm. the traffic jam instead. The machines are silent. The engines are all I mean, that off. was a driver, yeah. We do have a driver standing around there. We should keep our there. eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, mm -hmm. no? I mean, we did check in with that guy. I'm not sure. We don't want to attract too much attention. No, I think we mm -hmm. should do that. Writes down the information on his notebook, then reverts to the tracks in the mud. How old do you think these tracks are? I bet it varies. Maybe. Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us yes. by the caller, who reported the hanging. True. That's a cute gesture from Kim. He is. It is not He's impossible. Cute. Sure. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, mm -hmm. the day of his hanging, was the last one day. I see. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. That makes sense. Perhaps Kuno uh, sometimes wears shoes that are too big for Kuno. Kuno does not give a shit about whatever footwear industry dictates that the correct number for Kuno to wear is. But then he'll fall over and stuff. What do you think happened here? What do here? I think? Yeah, tell me about a it. A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. Yep. They shuffle around especially under the tree. Sounds like it. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Yep. Indeed. Sounds they all like stood it. in a row here and looked at the tree. Well, we've been through all of it. Okay, that is pretty good. I want something for my nose from the gardener lady. I would like to get that. Kuno only buys shoes with the highest number, you know, for biggest stats. That makes That means that the stats are high. Hey, lady. Excuse moi lady. Is your hair yellow? Hello again. No, Officer? that's just a thing. How are head. things? Uh, my partner told me you have ammonia. Can I have sure. some? I'm done with it. Okay, thank you. She takes a small capsule out of her breast pocket and hands it to you. Go well, that was easy. That stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. 
I will go easy on the stuff. Thank you so much. That was so easy. Okay, we have the ammonia, yes? Ampoule, ampoule, ampoule of ammonia. Thank you. Now we can take that and go closer to the body, I suppose. Do -do -do. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Also, why did they know, need to know that I use a QWERT, QWERTY or QWERTS keyboard? Like, I haven't done much with that yet so far. Okay, do I just, do I equip it? There he still is. Yeah. Looking right through you with mm -hmm. his white eyes. The yes. body below is entirely dedicated but to it's that still low. Smell. It's still it very is low. It does now. This is a white check. You may retry it. it. Does my ammonia get used up if I do it now? Am I gonna throw up again? I mean, it didn't really increase the chances too much. But I mean, I guess, is there anything else I want to do? Find smokes and smoke them, of course. Inspect victim's body. I would like to do that. But that's, yeah, that's the only thing to do here. Okay, well. Sure, let's try again. You crack open the ammonia ampoule. And no it. way. The no way. The death is still stronger. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run. Huh. And your stomach to wring itself empty. With your eyes squinting, nice. you stand in it. Well, I mean, I guess I can step closer, huh? Do they always do that? The man before you is naked, but yeah. for a pair of Holy underpants damn. and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled mm. with decaying he has weird boots veins on, actually, and blotched yeah. by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. Mm. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. True. True, it is a cargo belt, isn't it? Dude, Pog, let's go. Didn't hurt myself on this one. The boots are wicked weird. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast yeah. to the decaying flesh this? above the knee. Who did this? The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. Hmm. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. I can see that. Delicate and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you out of place somehow. Oh, what kind of boots are these? They are armor, no boots. Technically speaking, these are sabatons. Mm -hmm. Sabatons? Okay, what, what, what kind of armor is that? Such luck. <laughs> I cheated. Plate. Yes, Zirconium I cheated the game. Dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Where? Under the hill. Fairweather. Fairweather model T500VE. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. And what do you need that for? Knock on the boot, pull the boot off. That sounds bad. Uh, I like how the orange... Yeah, th yes, yes. I like these colors. The co orange colors in his portrait. Like, the orange is very... The orange is very much, like, a nice... Um, color in this game, I think. Sus. Very sus. What happened to the rest of it, then? The locals probably scavenged it. It mm. would be odd if he had more on after seven days. Yeah. We should keep a look up for these pieces. Ooh, the rest of the armor. Could yield information. Okay. Maybe you know. he'll know something. We could ask Kuno, I guess. If you wear those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. Why the fuck would I wear the armor of a dead man? What the fuck? Maybe he was just wearing these boots and there is no rest of... Nah, I don't think so. Why does my mortal coil need protecting? Yes, bullets will fly. They always do. And the coil is fleshy and mush and permeable. Cast it in ceramic shell. Resist death. I don't think ceramic is bulletproof, actually. Understood. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form. Yeah. Ageless and synthetic. Yeah, the material looks real weird. It is. It's expensive. What do you people need this for? The lieutenant draws a line uh, in the condensation on the ceramic with his index finger. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years. Oh, now. real? The constabularies deemed it too costly. Well, maybe it is bulletproof. In that then. time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. Why the fuck are ceramic? Is is that true? Are ceramics bulletproof? I would. I mean, okay. I don't know anything about what's bulletproof and what's not. I'm believing it. How much are we talking for a about? Full set, about four years of wages. Catching baby, not to the boots. By catching, do you mean let's not log them as evidence? Let's steal them? 
Yes, so and so. Hi, Siska, what's up? Also, hi, Strelitzia. Oh man, he sure do be dead. And he is. Hey, does anybody know if ceramic is bulletproof? I would say no, but maybe. I guess maybe not. They use Kevlar ceramics. Oh, in military body armor. Oh, see, you know this somehow. What was that about the constabulatory before? You need to push some buttons if you want to recruit a lieutenant in a conspiracy. Mm, no, that's not what I meant. That is what Kaching means, yes. If this constabulatory <laughs> is dragging their feet, why not start ourselves before we more good men die? Convince them. Bulletproof plates are considered ceramic, huh? But I don't know any details beyond that. That's interesting. I never heard of that. I don't care about that stuff either. <laughs> Usually. I don't think this man is going to use those anymore. No, but we n we should log them as evidence, potentially. So they don't get shot in the foot? No. Yeah. I think our extremities are fine without a dead man's boots. Yeah, honestly, Oops. fair. Oops. Well, no one said it would work. Back to detecting them. <laughs> okay, suggestion. Let's go. How could this man afford such expensive That's hardware? To find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbor Company. Mm. But that's just hearsay. Okay, where'd you get that from? Just something I scraped together from my station. Mm. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. Ah, uh, I wouldn't know if I did. I don't remember. He's not actually sure of that. He's just been. This careful. one, this one I did notice. Thank you, Empathy. <laughs> uh, they look pretty advanced for a security I guard, agree. though. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Mm-hmm. Knock on the boots. A small bell-like sound fills Bing. the air. Ting. Like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Like that. I think that's porcelain. I don't know if you can hear that very well, though. Uh-huh. Suddenly, your biceps coil up. Your elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. Oh, oh, the urges. This this guy speaks to me on a level that I can't understand. Punch it harder. Don't do it. Don't do it. I want to do it. Don't do it. Sounds fragile. That's the... D d don't do it. Don't punch it. Do not punch it. Man, I want to punch it. I shouldn't punch it. I'm not going to punch it's it. It's anything but. <sighs> I, fall, I won. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally ah. from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Oh. Faint organic okay. lines cover cool. the plates where they separate into smaller ones. That's These plates then divide fun. into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. Man, we've been looking at these boots for like a while. The scales of some ancient white monster, hmm. cracked and pearly. You're very right. You are very right. <laughs> I'm in favor of the mistake. Sometimes it's fun, but some am I going to pull the boot off? I guess so. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Mm, no. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I am not sure about that. I mean, I don't really want the boots to begin with, so maybe I won't do that. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form. Ageless and mm. synthetic. I don't even care about the boot. Why would I want the boot? The cadaver slowly boot. twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched yes. pink and blue True, they're very pink and blue since you can talk to the tie you can probably talk to the hanged man <laughs> maybe i mean we're gonna go step by step it'll take a while inspect the belt the hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below yellow hard-edged yes. polyester cuts into his neck yes above a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch yes i see that oh my there's something on the belt a familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. What was that? What Vermilion, word? In yellow letters. Vermilion. Along the length of the twisting That's a color, cargo belt. Isn't it? Only a deep longing for vermilion golden spirits oh. lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. Ah, uh, it's the local brewery's logo. I see. I see. I see. This is a bad time Extremely. for a drink, right? What kind of rope Industrial is this? Industrial strength. A can use for tying cargo to lorries. Mm -hmm. Like in a circus. When the circus leaves town and they tie a black spotted giraffe to the wall of a carry pen. They do a what? <laughs> like in a circus. Like in a harbor. Yes, it looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying mm. no attention to not incriminating themselves. Yeah, harbor workers would make sense. Okay, we're assuming dock workers from the harbor did it. I guess so. The brief suggested as much. Mm. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. 
Did you not get a briefing? Uh, I mean, who knows? My past has undergone total annihilation. To nothing remains. My mother, the love of my life, certainly not a briefing. Okay, you should ask me for one, the first moment we get. Uh, maybe. They sure wanted him to stay here. The polyester seems pretty strong. How are we gonna cut that? Can you cut that with a wire cutter or would that not cut it? It's not merely polyester. It's still reinforced. Oh, see really? These lines? This is where the wires Overkill. run. Overkill. I see rabbits for more than 20 strands. Overkill. This makes getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. Mm. But how did they even get him up here? Well, I mean, I don't know how people lynch people. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Yes. A noose is... Yes. He points at the buckle, trying to... Tying the belt to the branch above. Also, hi, Warren. Yes, I just arrived and I hear that. Yeah, bro has forgotten everything. His mother... His love of his life, if he had any, everything. It's all gone. No more. I think they lassoed the branch. Then oh, pulled on the belt. Hmm. Buckle closes. It's what I would do. Seems easier than climbing out there. Mm, I guess so. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. Let's check out the tattoos. Let's see if you got some good ink going. The, the ink looks interesting. I want to see. An intricate web of blue lines oh, stretches blue. across the How torso. Odd. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Oh. Their concentration is highest around his heart. That's not, that sounds funky. That sounds like a funky tattoo. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about lynching. Not a thing. <laughs> His corpse is marked by stars. <laughs> yeah, right? Stars. What will mine be marked by, bro? Don't Alcohol be so deep. Oh, stop it, Inland Ar Empire. Stop. Oh, you, I thought you meant the mother of, was the love of his life. That is not what it said. No worries. Uh, Your fist clenches suddenly. It will be marked. It will be marked by bullet holes. It will be riddled with disco. I don't know what the sentence means, but it appeals to me. Decay is creeping on anyway. the tattoo. Yes. Already, most of the canvas that's Aww. holding it has darkened. Now, yeah. it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. Yee, obviously. Is this a map of the night sky? A map of the stars. Yeah. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Mm. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized somehow. Ooh, customized map of the stars. As if someone left that most of the night sky, filtering it through personal yeah, maybe choice. it's his star sign. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. I'm sure it's his stars. And hell yeah, disco. I don't know what riddled with disco means, but it sure sounds good to me. Sometimes you don't gotta know what something means as long as you can feel it. You're so right. So nice. I'm missing something here. Mm -hmm. A sudden ringing fills the air as the lieutenant pulls down the zipper of his orange jacket. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. Oh. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. What's that? A true get sunshine. Mini. Uh, what's that? What the fuck is that? What is that, yeah. An instant color camera. Uh, he produces two metal capped ampoules and clicks them into place on the sides of the apparatus. A thin slot shines This there. is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. Hmm. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. He points the camera at the corpse, appearing into it. The lens needs adjusting. Then, a sound, oh, a that's shrill flash, right. followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. Nice you painting. See streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. Nice, nice, nice. In case we need it. Ah, oh, in case we need it, the lieutenant says and shakes the paper, letting it dry in the cold wind. On it, a color-perfect copy of the dead man's tattoo chest. Well, and the entire dead man as well. Actually, cool machine. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Ah, oh, he likes his little machine. Try get moment. Let's go. What do we need this photo for? I mean, I feel like taking photos is fairly self-explanatory, but we'll see. It contains insight to the victim's person. Yeah. By his build, I'd say yes. this was a man of physical violence. The Perhaps. story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. 
Yes. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. I we can need see to show that. it around. <laughs> can I have it? I should look at it later without the corpse smell. Uh, no, yeah, Here, I agree. A souvenir. Oh, you gave Don't it to me. Don't lose it. Okay. I won't. He hands you the piece of rolled up photo paper. It's no larger than a pack of cigarettes. Oh, we're talking about cigarettes again. Flashlight. Reminds me of when I switched to default Discord theme. The <laughs> well, default Discord theme is actually... His mouth mute dark, and his I skin think. as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper. Mm -hmm. Teeming with opportunistic organisms. Okay. You've acquired an interactable item. Ooh. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Okay, I'll I'll try to keep that in mind. We still have a couple of things to go through though. Thank you very much. Yeah, the 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 the, the light discord theme. I like the light discord theme. His eyes are milky white Let's and blind to the world. Well, I would hope protruding so. comically from their sockets. I don't know there if you can no find comedy in that, Just bro. Subaquatic terrors there. Bra. Who do you gotta be to be like lol when you see that? Dark brown hair grows oh, well. on his head. That's his not face his eyes. is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. Gross. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Gross. How are you liking the game? I like it. So far, I like that you get to make a lot of funky choices. I like the way that the dialogue is written. Under I'm vibing. The purple meat, there is an expression not carried on his features. But below, inside, an expression of pleasure. Pleasure. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. The fuck? Ooh, I should do that. This is a white check. You may retry it as well. Tell me, who are you, dead man? Can I talk to the dead man? Also, he was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. What the fuck? Come on, I'm baby. Gone. He's gone. I can talk to the hanged man. I am able to talk to a corpse. I am the ghost whisperer. Uh, can I ask all of these? I'm assuming yes. I hate you. You stink and you're boring. That's very rude. I don't want that. Uh, I can see you're gone, but who are you? I'm a jerk. Look at me. Rizzing the corpse. Let's go. I love this genre of games. If I play, I will I will win back a stupid cop. <laughs> Play like a brute. It would be funny to play as the different types. Where's Tench? Tench was just walking in the background. You hear? Tip tap, Tench. Oh, the baby. Hi, baby. He was with mom earlier, though. Um, there's nothing funny about you. You are now. But who were you when you were alive? A killer. A killer? A motherfucker. And a killer. Are you saying he had it coming? He had it coming. Cool hair today. Thank you, Hayden. Takes one to know one. What do you mean by that? Am I a killer too? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I have another question for you. Go ahead. Uh, why were you feeling pleasure when you died? Not to judge, but like that's a bit weird. Maybe I was getting my rocks off. That was what I was thinking, but I didn't want that to be your answer personally. I didn't really know. First, <laughs> do you have to speak like that? What dialect is that anyway? No, I don't care. So, you were feeling sexual arousal when they were hanging you? Do I look like an erotic auto-asphyxiation type to you? I don't think there's a look to that. Yeah. Captain Copadromo. I fear we are drifting away. Fixating on sexuality again. Let's go with a simpler question. Okay, sure thing. Weirdo. Weirdo. He could be. There's no look to that. You can't see that on somebody's face, especially not when they've been rotting for a week. Uh, what is happening is a good question. Where have you gone? Well, death, right? Into the wild pale yonder. The wild pale yonder. What is that? In the past. Way out in the west. Yeah, sure, cool. <laughs> Keep your cryptic bullshit to yourself. What is happening right now, what though? What do you mean? I'm talking to you. It's the power of your... Oh, black frothy lip liquid starts bubbling on his lips. Imagination. Imagination! Maybe he just thought, well, if I'm going to go out, I might as well feel good before I do. Yeah, but, like, he didn't really have a choice in the matter. He didn't hang yeah, himself. Man! Don't be Sally crazy! Buffer. Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Yes, thanks for Ask some necktie. more of those questions you love so much. You know what? He loves those. 
I, why do I love those questions because so much? you're a copperoonie. Copperoonie, no. I Look don't want to be. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give me questions. Give me a comical amount of questions. Coming right up. Okay. Copperoonie. Thank you. Thank you. This is getting up B now. Yes. Is my name Rooney? <laughs> Who killed you? Can, can you ask me a question? I mean, this one is like the most pertinent one. I would really like to know about that one. Love did me in Brother Copo. It was love all along. Love. He's doing this for love. Na 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 da da. Do 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 no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, why is my name Rooney? Fuck no. You're no Rooney. Mm, I strike myself as a Rooney. <laughs> no, you don't. Between you and me, your name is he probably knows. Harry. Oh my god, he fucking knows. What the hell? <laughs> I love how this is all leading to nothing, probably. I, I love that too. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have. I had a feeling you would say that. Can you ask me some questions? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Um, for my YouTube channel. Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes, standing here. Why are you investigating my murder? Content. You know? You familiar with the concept of content? Uh, according to Do Dojin, <laughs> if you're going to kick the bucket, the body makes you horny to make sure you leave descendants. I don't know if that's real or not. That sounds fake. That does sound fake. But you know. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, does it even matter at that point? It does release, like, good, good chemicals when you die. I've heard you release a lot of good, good chemicals. So, maybe just all of them. Uh... Because he told me to, I don't have anything to do else to do. That's pretty true. Or maybe this will lead to something. Something indescribable, unforeseen, miraculous. <sighs> You're not going to say the rest? The clown lips on the corpse appear to smile. The clown lips. Uh, the face rotates before you slowly. Something is on its way. Oh no, I have shivers. Something hidden. Ooh. It's coming. Ooh. A miracle uh, from the northwest. I don't know, I like that. It's almost here. Uh. You can feel it in the air. Stop! On your hands. The cold spring air smoothing them over. That's not good. Anyway, <laughs> I hate you. You stink and you are boring. Do I remind you of someone? Oh, myself in the bathroom mirror. That's so sad. A Shut the fuck up, bro. A baby affected with harlequinism. That's so dark, brother. You don't remind me of anyone. A deep sea creature, though. We talked about this. Well, he talked... Somebody in my in my head talked about this. That it's like an aquatic creature thing. Good chemicals before you die, right? I've heard. No, not quite. Be fair now. Mm, I don't think... I don't think he looks like me, personally. <laughs> you sure I got out of that one? Coppolini. Coppolini? Well, enough now, I suppose. Come back later, Coppo. I might. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. You do. You do if have those. Possible. Also, see me in your dreams. See, he said something else. In the text, this was why I'm like... I was really confused. The voice line said something else than the text here. What the fuck? Not the Harlequin babies. It's pretty dark, isn't it? As someone who almost died a couple of times, I'll refrain from confirming or denying what Warren said. Mostly because I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Actually, uh, I had a fr I know at least one person who has near-death experiences, so... To talk to the dead through the power of imagination. Game 10 out of 10. Vibes. Absolute vibes. Okay, well... Uh... How do we get him Are down? Are sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? Pretty much. We might miss some of these things once he's done. Um, okay, well, fine. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos, and extremities yeah, no. pink and blue. I think we've ex we've done everything. Yep, the preliminary ex examination is done. Let's get him down from there. I would mm. like that. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. Yeah, chain cutters, maybe. Cutters. 
but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. Yeah, I see that too. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither mm. one of us can reach the belt without assistance. Mm. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. Mm. I mean, we could go, we could climb on top of the branch, sit there and cut it down, no? I think. Spend the skill point. Oh yeah, I've never spent skill points before. We'll do that um, when we're done talking, I think, right? Uh, can someone else do it? We could saw off the branch. Seems like a lot of hassle is not do it. Maybe we could shoot him down. Maybe not. I don't think so. Maybe we can a ask for help. I feel like that make would make sense, probably. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. Mm. It seems like a dangerous route to I go I like down. danger. I like danger. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure I never got dialogue with the corpse. No, no talking to the corpse. Well, that's because I'm the Riz Lord. I'm playing as the Riz Lord. I'm not a fighter. I'm not a thinker. I'm simply the Riz Lord. So therefore, you know, I can talk to anyone. That including corpses. Confirmed. It's unsafe. Huh. Well, commit to it or consider other options first. But yeah. what other options? The corpse twists on the belt. Like chicken. I feel like we're probably going to have to do it. Shooting him down sounds like a dumbass idea. We could saw off the branch. Climb up there and saw the branch? Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, why not? Either of us could do it. We could use the kid's ladder on the I don't trust that ladder. The assailants didn't use it. It's rotten and less sturdy than it looks. And I don't see another good way up there. Get a ladder, perhaps. Honestly, I prefer a non-acrobatic solution to this. He looks around and then at you. Uh, why? Clown cops climb tree, fall down. Enraged cop assaults children after falling from tree. I like that though, personally. Critting cop. <laughs> they like that word. They do. Souls the branch he's sitting on, literally. <laughs> Local <laughs> children report corpse mutilation. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty funny though. Fuck yeah, climb that shit, monkeys. Honestly, I agree. I feel like we should climb it. <laughs> I also chose the empathy build. Oh, okay. See, you're only making them do those things less. Well, then that's because of my personal incredible Riz. That's true, though. Um, I'm not afraid of newspapers. We shouldn't be. Yeah, it's probably not going to go well. We don't even have a saw to begin with, so, you know. Uh, but you shouldn't oh, no. be afraid of newspapers, We should be I very agree. afraid of newspapers. And the radio stations, too. We should be wary of enticing them in any way. But pu but any publicity is good publicity. This is years of experience talking. He's seen career after career ruined by careless media strategies. Mm, sure. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to relent based on of, of this argument. But also, I don't yes. think it's a good idea to do We should it. use acrobatics as the very last option. After we've tried everything normal. Everything normal, These okay. These to be the most fucking boring mulka parts I've ever seen. Fair. They have a point, don't they? Kim seems to be the only one who thinks clearly. Yeah, Kim thinks pretty clearly, I think so. A way a lot of people, uh, this game is saving their skill points, because whenever you raise a skill level, you get more time at failed white skill tests of that kind. Okay. Oh, you get to try more times, I guess. Oh, yeah. I suppose so. We could, hmm. Someone else? You mean yeah. like the police? Yeah, other police. I don't know, someone who's below detective. Someone like a paid garbage man? Yeah. Or a cleaning crew? Yeah. I have bad news for you. That is a detective. Aww. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have Sad. a growing sanitary concern here. We True. need to get him down fast. True. Uh, no, I think we should get somebody from the harbor. Okay, they do have the tools and the men. Yeah. And since it looks like they put him there... They can get him down too. <sighs> okay, let's yeah. do it in the lousy, dangerous way. I mean, they were they wouldn't like say that they did that anyway. If they cooperate, that's better. It, it won't be dangerous, it's fine. So how do we get inside the harbor? From the gates, by negotiating or fighting. I'm fighting. unenthusiastic about fighting. Yeah, me too. Or we can try to find some secret third path. Hmm. It's an ugly though. I mean, I'm good at negotiating, I think. Let's fight, I say. Bro, I'm not that good at fighting. We shouldn't fight, I think. 
Well, let's go to it then. I would like to do my little side quest in the area first, but still, we have points. It auto saved as well. Hello. This menu is very a lot. There's there's a lot in this menu. You know what I mean. Uh, ain't going away. Focus on your lunch first, Victor. That's true. So I'm trying to get ready for Mother's Day lunch while typing. My typing skills are worse than normal. I oh, don't worry about it. You're doing you're doing fine enough. How do I? God, this menu. There's so much going on in this menu. Can I? What can I click? Anything? Also, I really like how Inland Empire taught hunches and gut feelings, dreams and walking life. I like him. I don't want anybody to be stronger than him, I think. If I click on somebody, what happens? Like, for instance, what... Oh, Psyche is authority, though, as well. Really, suggestion would be good, right? Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. I like that. Can I do that? Total four. Yes. And what do I have? Does it say somewhere how many points I have? I could also level up something else, right? I mean, I don't have to. Composure. I, they've never talked to me. Oh, there's so many. Electrochemistry is pretty high, too, isn't he? I'll go to Party Planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Shivers. Raise a hair on your neck. Half light. They talk to me a lot, don't they? The physique ones. I guess we could fight. We're not too bad on our physics stats, actually. As compared to everybody else. Did you hear Tenchi? No. He did not bark. I don't think so. Let the body take control. Threaten people. I mean, I do like threatening people, but I feel like suggestion is probably better. I'm so good at this thing as well. Suggestion might be good. And what's volition? I don't think I like volition. Nah. Hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. I don't care. Uh, can I level this up? Yes. Oh, I just had one point. Okay. Accept changes and clothes. Okay. Charm men and women. I think that's good. Probably. I don't know. Sure. Why not? I'm just doing whatever. It's fine. What else do I have? Interact. Oh, yeah. I have this photo of the tattoos. Nice, 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 nice. I can interact with this. Uh, how so? Okay. I can have bullets. Crazy. I mean, maybe I could, like, I don't know. Put it somewhere? On him? No. Held? No. Held L? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't know how to interact with it, but I certainly do have it. So that's something. There is an opportunity to rock a complete psycho bath. Yeah, right? This is so fun. You can really customize your character. That's fun. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, we can find smokes and smoke them. I still want to do that. We should also talk about the guy who's in the strike, maybe. Uh, we should talk to... No, I'm not gonna pay. But yeah, this one. We should do this one. Inspect victim's body is done, though, so that's good. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go talk to that dude anything else that i would want to look at no probably not can i go downwards please thank you please i want to leave it's not letting me there you go let me go oh mommy i let me go oh what's that i haven't seen that yet An old call box with a matrix of push buttons Oof. lists all the companies in the east delta commerce center damn that's a lot of companies i don't care if that becomes important, I'll be back. If not, I won't. Oh, this is the entrance, yes? Good. We need to talk to Gart. Hey, Gart. Hey, buddy. What is up? I need to talk to you from Sylvie. Can I help you? Um, I talked to Sylvie. She left because of me, not you. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. But what about the bird? The bird? Yes, the bird. I found it lying on the floor with a broken wing the morning she left. <laughs> I threw it against you the wall. Broke the skewer. I did. His face is flushed, was flushed with emotions. A rash covers his I neck. I assure you, it was him. It was me. I was just vibing. The BGM is as good in this game. Yeah. Whether to be angry or relieved that it was you. Again. Again. Why on earth did you have to break the skewer? It's a mystery. I just break things. It's the way I am. Maybe I have a vendetta against it. I actually. can't believe it. I was so <laughs> sure it was Sylvie. No. Even worse, I no, thought she was trying to send me a message. Oh, symbol of hope I see. No. Poor guard. That bird ain't no symbol of hope. It's a menace and a Bro, Half-Light is so true. All right. So real. Did she say anything else about me, you know? Did, did she say anything about me? Did she say anything about me? Yeah, she said something about you, but I don't know if I want to tell you. You're a bit annoying. I can't imagine how nightmarishly it would be to translate all of this text in this game. 
yeah, is it, that would be a long, 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 long project. Jesus Christ, I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> if you have like a big team, you know, you can do it. But if not, Jesus. Um, she said, yeah, that's what she actually said. She said you're nice, but you're also her employer. I mean, come on, the power vertical here. <gasps> Honestly, that is true though. Yeah, I do have a lot of cafeterias to manage and a lot of employees there. Yeah. I can't make this part of my work practice. It was unprofessional of me. Real. Shut that down anyway, immediately. Thank you for clearing it up. Now, if there isn't anything Got a else, lot of experience from that. Unless they just... Uh, uh, he does not seem to be overjoyed about this new found professional... About his new found professionalism. Well, or that's a new problem. A huh? Somehow you realize this is not going to net you any professional discounts. Huh. Already, he's reverting back to defensive. Well, I guess I shall give him a moment then. Goodbye. <laughs> Stop talking about the hundreds of cafeterias you're managing. Shut up. It's not impressive. It's boring, actually. So we've done this, right? Oh, shit. The map is so confusing. I'm not going to look at that. Yep, we did this completely. That's good. Uh, unless they decide to just, you know, wrote this, wrote this thing at the same uh, time translated it oh boy yeah well i mean that would be pretty uh, intense as well <laughs> guard is in a serious relationship with all of the cafeterias he's managing actually yep i'm not gonna do that where's the rest of the armor well that's oh ask kuno i don't really want to talk to kuno but i guess i should i got the shoe i'm wearing the shoe i don't know why it's not completed i really don't understand i am wearing the shoes I don't understand. I'm wearing both of the shoes, but the thing is not completed. I don't know. I guess we could talk, we could ask Kuno. Do I want to do that? No. Also the victim statues, what do I do with that? The one inside the room as well? Yeah, I um, have two shoes on. I am wearing two shoes. Someone recreated the whole map in Project Zomboid. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. Yes, I can see that. Ask around about tattoos possible meaning. How do I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Please leave me. Leave me, menu. Did he? Oh, when you... he looks around with his head when you move your cursor. I did not notice that. Okay, um. I guess I'm gonna talk to the kid again about the fucking armor. Should have done that before I left there, honestly. But you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's fine. I really don't want to talk to Kuno. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> they called it Elysium Island. Oh, fun. Why is it chugging? Come on, game. Get yourself together. Hey Kuno, bestie. Look, see, it's the fucking war pig. Yeah. Try not to knock yourself out. Uh, love you that song. belittled yourself before the Kuno. Her now you must seek his forgiveness. Her voice is calm. She doesn't dignify you with a look. That's okay. Look, I want to make this right with Kuno. Make amends. Yeah. Um, fucking war pig. Amends. <laughs> You're cool, dude. Let's just bury the hatchet. And he's not gonna fall for this, I think. Uh, yes, I noticed. I noticed the mouse, uh, the, the the head moving with the mouse because we're usually in dialogue boxes. No, hey, the formula worked. Good job. You're doing your modding stuffs. Uh, I may not look like it now, but you have may have vital information. Oh, so that's what this is about. Yes, you need a snitch bitch. Yes, you need Kuno to be your sweaty little snitch bitch. Yes, please. You lost your shit in the booth. Tried to beat a confession out of Kuno and pissed yourself. Yes, That's right, please. Kuno. You're right. The psychophantic people wearing pup behind the fence agrees. You better come up with a way to make Kuno forget you tried to fucking hit him, Higo. It's raining. <laughs> why, why is it raining? I don't have anything. What uh, What can I offer please you? Please don't waste time on nonsense. But it's in my quest log. I'm sorry. The lieutenant does not approve of this at all. Oh, I see. Don't listen to the blind fuck, Piggo. You're doing the right thing here. Trying to get Kuno to like you again. Again, this implies you ever liked me. He pauses to think. You can pay tribute to Kuno with drugs. Or, or cigarettes. Or some wheels. Kuno could use some wheels. Motorized carriage shit. Oh, can I give <laughs> can I give Kim's car away to Kuno? What are you doing? Whatever then. Me, uh I need to make a truce with Kuno. No, you really, really don't. That Actually. is a 12-year-old boy. His opinion of you doesn't matter. You 
But it's in my book. It's a task that I have. Uh, I mean, I would rather not, though. So maybe I actually should not. Okay, let's go. If it's optional, I feel like this is this is this is you saying that it's optional. So therefore, I don't have to do that. <laughs> he might be interested in the hatchet, though, right? Maybe. Kim, do not give the child drugs, please. And I'm like, well, what about a little drugs? You know? Oh, I have a thought. All around you, rain falls yeah, I on the great city of Rivershaw. Oh my God, we're zooming rain out. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters, washing Ooh. the filth away. Work, work. Oh, there's a strike over there. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. What am I Looking doing? up at the sky. Cold water dripping from your hair. What do I see? Grey sky like great battleships. Clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. How does this feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. Hate that. The shoulders of your disco blazer grow heavy. Why is it a disco the blazer? Cold finds its what way does this in mean? Under your skin. You shiver and the city shivers with you. We shiver together. You're not dressed for this weather. You should get an overcoat or a patrol cloak. Motherfucker. <laughs> Why am I asking again what's in like all of the directions? I don't know if I care about that. What's in the west? Sheets of rain over the water. A flight of stairs leading yeah, I mean, into the ocean. I can see that actually. Wave after wave washing the coast of Martinez. With its motorboats and gently swaying. Hell yeah, reefs. Disco! He is Disco. Maybe that's his actual name. <laughs> his actual name is actually Disco. That's why. The ruins of a half sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet beyond the Bay of Revachol. Ghosts rise into the sky. Mm. Who are you, ghosts? The skyscrapers of La Delta, the financial district. Faint golden light seeps from the office windows. Oh, you. Will you ever go there? Pfft, will I? No, you are no. just one of the hundreds I will of not. thousands who watch them rise across the bay from Martinez every day. Well, what's down? What is down the shore? Urban coastline, rain dripping off etonite covered roofs, cinder blocks left over from half finished construction, a defunct research and development building once seized by revolutionaries. An old wooden church stands on stilts above the water. Uh-huh. The Disco Harry Elysium. Yep, that's his full name. Cold We've discovered city, it. End of all lines. Huh. Run your fingers through your dampened your hair. Your hair is an oily mess flecked with ash yeah. from neighboring cold. I lines. can tell. Smoke Down stacks there. rise somewhere in the distance. What's in the east? The workers' strike is in the east. There's a fleet on the corner. Oh, a that's the store. Coat is we into talked a small about that. Triangle under the counter by the window. Beyond that, the strike breakers have gathered. Hell yeah. The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. Mm. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal Brrr. trying to shake water from its hide. Shake your shoulders again. Shake it again. You shudder. Shake it off. Down at your feet. Dirty rainwater runs veins into the plaza snow. Mm. Two green snakeskin shoes stand at attention. Yes. On the mosaic pavement. I am wearing my shoes. Well, I know what's north. What's south? A traffic jam. Rain mm. thrumming I mean, on the roofs I guess of I know motor that vehicles. Too. Inside, drivers watch water streaming down their windshields. Mm. The statue of a king shudders. He too is cold. Nice. The canal bridge has been raised. And what is on the other side? The road ascends. A raised motorway loops above the ghetto. Beneath its concrete columns, a sea of rooftops, woodwork, and tar stretches northward. Four-story buildings as far as the rain can fall. The snows melt in Jamrock. What is Jamrock? Jamrock is where I'm from. That's my hometown, no? Revachol is the capital of the world. Oh, Jamrock really? is the capital of Revachol. Oh, really? Droplets form on your eyes. Is that so? I'm from there. Looking at the statue is pretty cool. I, I like the vibes of the statue. It's home. It's home. Yeah, I've, I've heard. <laughs> I have heard. Uh, wear the hood. Wear the hood, wear the hood, wear the hood. <laughs> I'm... Okay, thank you. I like that I got that reference. Good, thank you. Thank you for supplying this to me. The neighborhood, as in hood. Okay. 
Um, 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 um uh, why I'm not there? To be in Martinez, when no I mean, this is my job, I guess. At the runoff point of a long forgotten canal in the whitest part of town, in the shadow of the day the revolution fell. What am I doing here? I mean, my job. Standing in the rain, looking north, where Jamrock Rock City stretches inland. Hmm. I mean, I know that I live in Jamrock. On a street there that flows like a muddy river in the snow, with fire traps rising on either side. A film rental opens its doors to the rain. Mm. An armored motor carriage rushes past the corner where you used to walk together. Me and who? Suddenly, the hair on your back Ooh. rises. Oh, the hair on my back. Who? Though? You cannot return. A lady with a French accent. Okay, where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood at? I have a brother in the cut. Where the hood at? Who is that? I think I do have a dead partner. Or, like, ex-partner, I guess. I guess you're not partners anymore. Because death does part you. This is the whole thing about partners. Till death do us part. So, you know, my ex is dead, I suppose. And that is her, I suppose. Although, sh that was still yours. You, Shivers, said that, technically. Weird. Anyway. In the rain-swept distance, above the rooftops of Jamrock, a repurposed silk mill stands perched mm. above the motorway exit. Precinct 41 hunches in the rain. Nice. Your vision blurs. You wipe your face with your hand. The rain stings your eyes, making you look up and blink. What's above, what's below is pretty good. But I feel like I should go for the... Capeside Apartments. The size is Tower blocks the crowd directions. one another. 4.46 millimeter bullets still lodged in their war-torn stone walls. I can see. I mean, hallways collapse from the mortar hits of a war that was lost long ago. Mm -hmm. Clothes lines go to waste in the I mean, rain. Yeah, we're in 50 something. Radios right? play. And closer to here? A yard. Yes, rain I know. Rain falls I onto the roof of a woodshed. Coal leaks into a puddle beneath a dead man's feet. Mm. He swings from a tree. That's bloated. what he does. Droplets of rain slip from his cold cheeks. What is above? Coalition hero statics hang like apparitions under the cloud cover. Ooh. Way up there, where rain forms, rotors flutter silently. Your sight clears. Well, and then, of course, as above, so below. Collapsed storm drains, mm. old sewage systems flooded with rainwater. Man, I have good perception. Hidden weapon caches from the revolution. Doors leading down to Leroyam. The catacombs to which, oh. for three centuries, they delivered the blue-blooded dead. Oh, there's catacombs in here. Well then, motherfucker. This rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there. Yeah, I know. There was one laying around there. I know that because I'm psychic, apparently, at least a little bit. A little bit psychic. Oh my god, did I get a level up again? Or what's, what's up? Yes. Skill points. Yes, I do have a level up. Let's go. I love learning about the revolution. Let's actually go. Um, What else would I want to level up? I mean, I like suggestion, right? Charm men and women. I mean, I don't know. Is it smarter to go like all out in one as opposed to like diversifying your <laughs> approach? I don't want to min max this. I want to just do what feels right to do. But there's so many options, it's kind of hard to make decisions. I wish I could take points out of authority. Authority is such an ass. This one's fun because it's like psychic. I could just, I could totally see myself just sinking all of my points into suggestion though. I'm not gonna lie. So I'll just level up this one again and hope for the best. I don't know. I want to be charming. That's what I want to do. So I will be doing that. Yeah, the victim's tattoos. Still don't know about that. Truce with group. Maybe, maybe. Ask Tim. Oh yeah, Kim should also tell me about the case at some point. But we should do something. Yeah, intellect is like how I... I feel like I usually go with maxing that in games. I mean, I don't play that many RPGs, so I can't say that I have a usually. Ooh, okay. A man. News... Magazines. But I feel like it would be boring for the gameplay of this one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not boring. I'm sure it's not boring. 
I like having points on different stuff. Uh, to have different voices speaking to me, though. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, I don't hear all of them all of the time. A glossy magazine. Most able-bodied men. This issue hosts a top 10 list. So able-bodied. Oh no, they're much hunkier than you. You shouldn't feel threatened by handsome men. Don't be silly. Real. That's very real. Hi, dude. Welcome to Rivachol. <laughs> this took me off guard. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect this. I'm sorry. I click on some random dude. And other people usually have... Thomas Jones, you know, like their name. This man? What is this man's name? Racist lorry driver. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Oh no, this guy stinks. Hi, Jamie. What's up? Welcome to the to Revajol, announces the rotund man. The remark isn't addressed to you. It's addressed to the lieutenant. Well, I wonder, I wonder why. Uh, do we... Why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revachol me. I'm gonna my grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Yeah, listen up, bitch. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided. Making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. So we are in a limbo. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. Doesn't sound like a lorry driver thing now, is, does it? The music is divine, though. The soundtrack I know goes exactly hard. Yeah, I agree. Meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here? That I should watch myself and... Behave. Can we fight the lorry driver? I know I failed the other one, but I checked again and my physical attributes actually aren't that bad. So I would but try it see, again. I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. Get him. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Mm-hmm. Your partner needs backup. Yes. Now's your moment to shine. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Now that it's settled, uh, nope, nope. Fuck, fucking a, Kim. I've got your you back. You do make a cute couple. You know that. Thank you. I know, right? We're adorable. Are you the jealous? Exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Okay. Can we not escalate this further? I would like to escalate. Now that that's settled, we have a couple Whatever of questions. Whatever you say, officers. He waits impassively, a cigarette smoldering between his fingers. Could Can I have a cigarette? to show you the soles of his boots. He definitely looks like someone capable of a lynching. True. Maybe he was present. Uh, I would like to ask about the cigarettes no. first. Doesn't have a smoke. Fuck you. He's got a smoke right there. Yeah, I know, right? I know, head. I know. Snatch that shit out of his fat fingers. Yes. You need it after listening to his garbage. <laughs> then I'm gonna need the one you're Call smoking. Penny. Uh, but I've handed over. I'm confiscating it as evidence. I haven't done anything. <laughs> he puts out the cigarette and flicks the tiny stub towards the street. Uh, fuck, I oughta. What, uh, what, officer? The man looks at you coo coo coolly. Noxious affluence wafting in the air around him. Shit. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't really successful. I'm trying to, I'm trying to escalate this fight, but I can't. I like how in Hades there's so much text and like half of it is voice acted. Yes, this one is so voice acted and I'm so thankful. Otherwise my voice would be dead by now, but I'm chilling. I'm vibing. This is a great stream game. <laughs> uh, so, well then, what are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but cargo. Uh, the dock workers are on strike. So uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Okay. What of kind of cargo are you supposed to pick up then, apples. buddy? Mm. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? I mean, I do. He's given you the runaround. Let's be honest, you were bested. Rude, medium failure of rhetoric. Oh my god, I gotta level up my rhetoric in real life though, because I wanna be a <laughs> good debate, bro. Stinky. Stinky, uh-oh. Uh, let me see the souls of Been your boots. admiring the stompers, huh? Sure. Sure thing. Check him out. 
He lifts his foot, foot then the right. Look Under at the, the sole. bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately discernible pattern. Is that... Do I recognize the wind that? Howls over the Bay of Rivershaw, a cascade of cold air flowing through the city streets. Those same streets have left their share of scuff marks on the underside of your green snakeskin shoes. Mm. Is that a map of Revachol? It sure is. That's crazy. Where did you get boots like that? Custom made. Cost me a pretty penny. But why? That's such a that's an investment. That's very weird. We can practice the fading if you want. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I actually should. I'd like to just say things and then not actually do something about it, at least with stuff like that, especially. There's other things where I say things and then actually do things, but not always. Maybe. I once watched someone play this game for like nine hours straight. I don't remember stuff. It's just a blur. I don't know the state of my brain at the time, but it was weird. Oh no, you disassociated to Disco Elysium. For when the invasion comes. Huh? The last thing they'll see before the lights go out is illustrious Rivachol. Brother. It doesn't look like the lieutenant cares. He just makes a little note. Uh huh. An invasion. Okay. Uh, what is this invasion anyway? Sounds more like immigrant bashing. Hey man, you know there are all sorts of invasions. Mm -hmm. I thought we could rely on the cops. We're in this are together, they? whether you realize it or I mean, not. You, I'm sure you're in this together with a lot of cops, but uh, sadly, that's not me. Well, I guess I'll. I will talk about the argument. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Bro, are you are you quoting critical race theory at me? At me today on this beautiful day one at like half past noon? What the fuck? Not the most popular topic nowadays. No, with certainly the not. Coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. And uh, no, Change I would like to. The topic. Well, what the fuck? The, way the he light says changed. It makes it almost sound like a threat. Oh, we should fight! We should fight! Um. Oh, so you're a racist. Makes sense. I, I like that answer. Um. Uh, we could also go that way, but I feel like that way, you know, that'll go. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books. <laughs> The science of racial theory has Oh my god, shut up, shut up. People don't want to accept it. Shut up. <laughs> you can't. You cannot be this mask off, bro. You cannot. I mean, he's just a racist lorry driver. That is his name after all, so I guess it makes sense. But he's like, actually, well, yes, of course I am racist, but not just. I also have read people books. Who studied these things you are insane. You and me are superior by design. You are insane. So, uh, naturally. <laughs> We Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Brother. Okay, what else have you thought of? Yes, I can really time <laughs> tell you're a prime example of superior design. What do you mean, jump ahead? I mean, I have already m made up my mind, but I hope this is read as sarcastic. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority, this guy is they insane. stop competing for resources. Okay, and? This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. <laughs> Same with the mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And the other intruder species, too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. I see. I, lo I may have lost a fight to a child earlier, however, first of all, uh, that's when I was first swinging, so maybe if he swings first, but if we do, if we should get hit, you know, if we provoke this man into a fight, that would be um, assault of a police officer, which, you know, if, if any situation you can exploit being a police officer, it's certainly that one, like even looking at somebody wrong is something it's already... I'm not racist, I'm just asking some questions, yeah, sounds like it, right? Maybe it's just his name? <laughs> <laughs> Would be very unfortunate, no? Uh, okay. Uh huh. I mean, I have made up my mind. But I. I'm. Uh huh. It's true. Also, I want to hear more. You need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birth place? You might end up with a new sub race with unknown characteristics. 
leading to extra competition. Oof, That's why you've got oof. to control the offspring. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at these answers that you can give. Look at these fucking answers that you can give. You can do you can literally go like, yeah, I think I can get down with racism. <laughs> That was a legit seagull laugh. I've never been so seagull before. Or, yeah, I'm not down with this. Why don't you go fuck don't yourself? Don't push your luck, Rent. Brother, it's two on one. If Kim if Kim backs me up, we can beat this dude. Up. No, we can't fight the dude. Fuck. This man gives you a disgusted look, then turns his attention elsewhere, ignoring your presence. Yeah, but can I, like, fight the dude? Odd. Come to tell me to fuck. Yeah, I do want to tell you to go fuck yourself, but mostly I would like to beat you up until you don't anymore. You know, until you cease. Cease is a good way of putting it, I think. Uh, ooh, magnesium. Magne trash magnesium, my favorite. Uh, I should see that I find a good spot. Ooh, money. I should see that I find a good spot to end it also, because it, it's, it might be time. Oh, you can. The game lets you be in as awful as a person as you want, or as nice as you want. I know, I know. A lot of freedom. I like that about it. I like that about it. I will go now. What is this? Whirling in rags. Close for winter. Please use the main entrance. Okay. Is that our... That is the thing that we're using, yes. I mean, I can just save here, right? Otherwise, I'll forget. Otherwise, I'll forget -y. Oh, that's the, is that the statue of the king? Or is that a different statue? I wouldn't know. We can talk to the strikers. The strikers? That's certainly not the word. Or we could go to the to the store. We have to go to the store, actually. Fritz. Sick. Yes, that's where we will that's where we will be going. Okay. Oh, there's a l active thoughts. Look at that. Yeah, how are my thoughts doing, by the way? <laughs> Just to back it up again. How are my thoughts doing? Oh, I'm all I'm almost done with feminism. Cool. <laughs> I only have 24 minutes more of fem feminism to go. I have a lot more time of this one to go though, so you know. So, that's something, but we'll get there. We will get there, I'm sure. I mean, we'll get there in the next part of it, that is. You could leave this game running, but I guess they, since they track your time, I feel like maybe we shouldn't just leave this game running in order to complete the thoughts. But, you know, there's a, oh, okay, there's a lot of thing, things. Character sheet? I have a character sheet. Oh, this is my character sheet. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm almost done with feminism, is a quote. Yes, it's my quote now. I would like to save the game, yes. Martinez, day one, 12, uh, half past noon, new save. These are my quick saves. Quick save backup, very nice. Oh yeah, that's actual time. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was confused for a second, because I'm like, how am I ahead in days? But I'm not. That's just the real, actual time. Yes, please save. Mm, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Can't wait to be done with feminism tomorrow. Oh, the confirm is a little music note. Okay, that's good. I've saved, so I'm. I think I'm good, right? Like, if I load game, I could save this one now that I've saved. Okay. I hate it when there's when they're like complicated. The save menus. I get confused. I'm like, which save is the one that I want? Why is there a massive explosion here? By the way, does this have anything to do with anything? Is this like happening here, or are we just gonna ignore that? I think we're gonna ignore that personally, probably. I could leave this on in the background. I really, I love the art style of this fucking game. Orange really is their color. I personally barely use orange in my art. Orange really is underused, but I love this color composition with this sort of orange and this sort of like greenish blue. It's actually one of my favorite color combinations, but I never use it myself in my art at least. I like to mute my colors a little bit more, but this color, you know, this orange isn't too garish either. It's quite muted actually. Anyway. <laughs> What I'm trying to say with that is that we're done for today and I really like this game. No, it's this fucking screen again. And now they're going there again. So rude. I need to re, um, I put, I need to put that on a different button. Once again, the be right back screen. It needs to go on a different button, but I don't have it. I don't know which one to choose. Maybe F10. 
Maybe I'll do F10. But it was nice. I, I, I enjoyed. Hello, I can be big again. I can be bigger again. I enjoyed this a lot. Yes, I'm gonna make this a series. I wasn't 100% sure if I was gonna make it a series or not. But so far, I'm vibing with it. I've heard in order to beat the game, you need like depending on how much you do like up to 40 ish hours around 40 ish hours if you do like if you go slow and i mean i'm a streamer so i go pretty slow although i feel like in this one a little bit less slowly than stuff like persona for instance so we would have a lot of parts going on thanks it was nice i enjoyed my time too thank you for enjoying your time alexei i'm glad you did just a common wild explosion. You see him around, you know, like no biggie, no biggie, honestly. I'm gonna sit down and work on my schedule now so you know when I'm streaming uh, next week. I can already tell you that I will not be streaming tomorrow because it's Monday and I usually don't do that. It was the racist, <laughs> it was the racist lorry driver that cemented the series totally. Yeah, like when I saw the racist lorry driver, I was like, I need to see more. I need to see more of this game, <laughs> obviously. It was a pretty relaxing stream. I liked it. I that's beautiful, wonderful. I love to hear it. I'll see when I schedule the next part of this, but it's good to know that I will be doing that. Now I'm gonna go pet Tenshi, maybe eat an egg, you know, wild adventures such as these, and I will be leaving you to it. And I'll see you again on Tuesday, certainly. We're definitely doing Tuesday. Connection's dying for Victor. Okay, ciao, ciao. Wish I could have punched Kuno cor correctly though. Yeah, Kuno was it, yes, that's true. Egg time, let's go. Egging, egg, egging, egging time, egging, cooking time. See you. See you around. I'll feed it second, everybody. My face is lagging because of emotes. And bye. Get going. I'll see you on the other side on Tuesday and or on Discord on Twitter. Those places. Bye.